Hello, hello, Danger Noodles. I am here with my uh, lovely moderator, Hatchet Head. That has to be the most gravitas you've ever given me in an introduction. They also like hentai. There we go. <laughs> oh, you don't need to just outright say it immediately. <laughs> but anyways, hello viewers. I hope you're you'll enjoy the stream anyways uh let's get into uh finding the other endings and yeah as as i said in twitch chat to y'all we have recently had a botting issue so um as a side note if you are at some point banned wrongfully just do a uh unban request give indication that you're an actual person and I'll get around to unbanning you. Yeah. Wait, hold on. I'm not gonna go on an un I'm not gonna go on an unbanning streak right now, but if we start having another massive influx of followers. Yeah. Also, here's the thing. They added a yeah. log. A log? Yeah, you know, where it keeps track of all the, uh, fucking, uh, uh, text that's going on. There's a fucking log, unlike the other ones. Which means those other times where I actually hit the button and skipped, we probably could have figured out what was said. You didn't think to check if the visual novel had a log. Well, it's because the other ones didn't. You should still be checking. <laughs> Basically, all visual novels have a log for that exact purpose. Well... Now we have it. <laughs> oh yeah, now we have no idea who the fuck's speaking. Uh, um, indeterminate voice, Lily, Lily. What? Indeterminate voice says, hurry, I need help. Oh, this could be the girl we need to find. I forgot her name. I was about to say Lele, but no, that's different game. Good job. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Sally. <laughs> this voice. It's Sally. It's so cold in here. Please come and get me out. Later. Sally. A dream. What the? I'm guessing this is a uh, other guy McMahon face. Maybe. So you? Yeah. Lily, let me in. Oh wait, no, that was Sally. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Oh, it could be the oh, cannibal boy. Oh, oh, shit, okay. Lily. Lily, let me in. <laughs> is that Stelly? Again, it is physically impossible. Oh. oh, God. Don't just open... Don't just open the window to spooky ghost voice. Oh, no! Betrayal. You... opened the window. You... <sighs> Excuse me. No. 
You... You can't possibly be Sally. Who are you? Oh yeah, now it's me again. Yeah. Are you the cannibal boy? Die. The cannibal boy's fingers move to slash Louie's neck. But just in the nick of time, Jade pulled Lily away. Are you okay? Jade gently cupped Lily's delicate hand and looked down to make sure she was not hurt. Oh, uh, yes. Oh no. Wait, are we gonna have a love triangle? <laughs> Inbound sapphic moment. <laughs> I never noticed how tall Jade is. Layer. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. I almost forgot about you. I see now. You mimic the appearance of, vic of the victim's acquaintances. We get them to open the window. That explains why the victim's accounts of the boy were all different. Why do you want to kill people though? The villagers chose to abandon us. <laughs> you want revenge? You must realize we're not the villagers. Maybe. But you did eat my friends. Johan and Marge. <laughs> I just started thinking the ghost of Marge Simpson. <laughs> when I read that. Johan and Marge. Trying to think, are those the guy and girl from the original, like from Case One? Maybe. Those two evil spirits we encountered on Mount Candy House. Nope. Oh yeah, those two. Those those two. <laughs> The boy straightened his fingers and prepared to strike with his hand again. I slash your throat from the left. She touched it? <laughs> I'll buy us some time while you send Brucey a message. You want to read this? It's her. Is this her? Yeah, it's she just... she told that uh, uh, literally she told him to text Brucey. So this is her. Oh right, it was the texting. Okay. My brain was thinking like she's going to go run and get Brucey, not <laughs> immediately pulls out cell phone when Demon is standing next to her. Yeah. Boy, hey! Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Ah, <laughs> uh, freezing. This can sound like Boy. a whole different scenario. <laughs> Boy, K. Hell, lost the lead. The message was marked as red. Gain the lead. Thank goodness. How dare you ignore me? Don't get distracted. <laughs> oh. Let's see this. 
Jade pushed Lily away in time. Oh, that does not look good. Well, shit. But at the cost of her right arm. Oh, shit, she lost her entire right arm. Could you not tell that? I thought it, I thought it was just like a puncture wound. Like, it, there was just a hole around that area. Like a hole in the shoulder there's, or something. Oh. There's... There's showing the arm gone. <laughs> you unobservant bitch. <laughs> Jade? Wait, that's not right. Jade. Jade. <laughs> that makes me think. <laughs> Fuck, what's the name of that game where it's like the guy's yelling snake? Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of the, when you said that. I was thinking it was through that radio thing. <laughs> I was thinking of car battery. Oh my god. <laughs> Out of my way. <laughs> He's going to kill Jade. You have silverware. Be aware of your surroundings. Brucey, I think I see a way out of this mess. You there. I'm the one you want to kill. I will. Oh shit, should I say the last word? I mean, yeah, hag's not that bad of a word. Okay, I wasn't make I wanted to make sure. I will <laughs> once I deal with this hag. <laughs> you, you know what? I'd, I'd prefer you being overly cautious than just accidentally saying extremely profane words again. Yeah, that's fair, because we've experienced games with, um, Certain wording will say it for one visual novel. There's been multiple. Oh, yeah, true. But anyway. Jade and Brucey weren't planning on doing anything to your two friends. I asked them to do it. What? He has a habit of straightening out his fingers before striking with him. I have to take advantage of that movement for a counterattack. Layer. Ball. <laughs> I am a spirit. <laughs> How did you cut me? Because this knife is an energy sword. Oh my god. Stolen from an abandoned covenant vehicle. <laughs> Don't you know plasma is good against alien? Why did I? S oh, I've lost the plot. It's made of silver. God. Billy glanced at the knife, but noticed its tip had turned black. What is this black stain? Will it still work against the evil spirit? Why... Why wouldn't it? It's just like spirit blood. Yeah. I'll end you this time. <laughs> I suppose one slash wasn't quite enough. Lily closed her eyes and pe prepared for the blow to come. But once again, the boy's fingers didn't reach her. 
Oh my gosh, the music. <laughs> it's aggressive. Yeah. Also, seriously. Okay. Oh my god. Why is Lily so fucking dumb? Like, she just, like, she needs a little black smudge on the on the fucking knife made with silverware and decides, oh, I can't be using this to defend myself anymore. What? Why? Why would that be your first assumption? Right. The black smudge got there from using it on the ghost, but the thing's still made of silver, which is why it hurt the ghost. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Lily saw that a hand had the boy's arm in a firm grip. Brucey! <laughs> Not bad. Our first attempt at exorcism. How, how do you all keep touching me? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, put on paper. <laughs> <laughs> this ends now. I don't think so. What? Brucey's first hung in midair, unable to deal the final blow. Because now the boy was mimicking. Oh shit. This guy. He's your boyfriend. Brucey's like, dead boyfriend. <laughs> wait, didn't you eat him? Did you... I'm con... Whatever. The timeline with these games is so fucking all over the place. Son of a... <laughs> oh, shit. Cast the evil eye. I can't move. Flip him off, then! Boy straightened out his fingers and placed them against the most vulnerable part of Brucey's neck. Brucey! <laughs> Any more tricks up your sleeve? That wasn't a voice crack, by the way. I literally put my voice high-pitched. <laughs> yes, and then it cracked. I... Fuck you. That was intentional. Well, yeah, like, that's fine. It's just... Oh. Uh, it's to be expected. Ah, uh, okay. No. But I know someone who does. Huh? Oh, my God. It hurts. Out of nowhere, a sharp, violent pain erupted in the boy's right arm, almost as if it had been se severed. Oh yeah, she's transferring her pain over to him. Hurts, doesn't it? Tomorrow night, I'll be back to kill you all. That's... that's what gets you to leave? <laughs> It just, it's just the feeling of pain. You're a ghost. <laughs> also, he was That's... stabbed earlier. <laughs> Bro. What a whim. <laughs> the cannibal boy is a fucking bitch. <laughs> you. Wait, I just realized something. When you go to, f to fight the, um... Uh... Cannibal boy, you could literally just wear a suit of armor from like you know the medieval ages with the silver chainmail. <laughs> he wouldn't touch, couldn't touch him because silver hurts him. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, most of the time that wasn't made with actual silver. But yeah, you just have to wear the one that is, and <laughs> you're immune. Do you? 
Do you realize yeah. how unbelievably expensive that would be? True. Anyway. Like, even with a silver alloy, that would be absurd. Yeah. Anyway. Phew! He got away. All the way back to Mount Candy House. Where does evil spirits dwell? Brucey! <laughs> Brucey! Jay needs help! Oh my gosh, her face right now is reminding me from you. Reminding the face of Yuki when she had blood on her face. I'm not sure if you even know that character. Uh, it was from the anime where on phones they would tell you certain information. Oh, right. Um, yeah, that that one. Uh, Future Diary. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember the name. I never finished it, but I do want to finish it. I mean, you're saying Yuki. I'm pretty sure that's the guy. Is that who you're meaning? Oh, I meant the girl. I forgot. The I forgot, I forgot her is name. It? Oh, for fuck's sake, let me just go look it up. Uh, future characters. Uh, you're thinking of you now. You know, okay. Girl is you know Gasai, and the guy is Yukitero Amino. Ah. Uh. Alright. Anyway, I read this, I think. Yeah. Don't worry. If she dies, she'll just become an evil spirit that torments people. Not much of a change, if you ask me. Bruh. <laughs> what a fucking dick. <laughs> Betrayal. Besides, I won't let her die. Brucey knelt beside Jade and leaned his face to down towards hers. A person whose arm got chopped off needs mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. <laughs> I imagine someone somewhere thinks this. Uh, whatever. The next moment, Brucey spat out a, tor a torrent of spirits. <laughs> Spirits wormed their way into Jade's mouth and wriggled out from, from her shoulder, materializing like countless tentacles sprouting from her gaping wound. Oh. <laughs> okay. Then this little squirmed and crawled over to the severed arm on the floor and dove in. Then they dragged the arm back, eventually pulling the limb back into Jade's shoulder. <laughs> E. E. They reattached her arm. Oh yeah, how long were you playing the stream? Uh, to one or two a.m. So we'll probably finish okay. this game tonight. I imagine. <laughs> Are you all right? Why am I just sitting in the corner? <laughs> she just jumps. <laughs> 
Jade swung her arm around a few times as if it had never been chopped off. And turn fan. I actually take damage for Brucey sometimes. After all, I know you can fix me up. <laughs> so she becomes his his personal punching bag for dealing with evil spirits at her sometimes. I I guess <laughs> that's fucked up. Just like, all right, the ghost has you as a hostage. <laughs> ah, that ain't gonna work well. <laughs> we have the same regard for hostages' lives as uh, the IDF. Oh, God. Anyway. Wait, those spirits Brucey just spat out. That's right. They're evil spirits I ingested and assimilated. Free of artificial additives. Oh my god. Damn. <laughs> who would have who would have guessed that Brucey primarily eat organic ghosts? <laughs> Well, then the ghosts are definitely not American. So. Pasture-raised goats. I just about said goats. They're <laughs> evil goats. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're the ghosts of the incendiary goats and flamethrower goats that died. <laughs> I don't like this lore anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You two are much more like evil spirits. But, Jade, I am so sorry. This never would have happened if I hadn't let my guard down. Hey, don't say that. Friends cover for each other, okay? Thank you! Nearly, I won't let anyone pluck you until the time comes for you to bloom. What the fuck does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> I'm concerned. <laughs> Jade? I mean, we've already... I mean, we've already established that Jade is kind of fucking unhinged. Yeah. How dare that little punk tarnish my memories. I'll skin him and eat his flesh. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh. <laughs> what the fuck? I also just pieced together something. Why the fuck, like, is cannibalism a common thread throughout, like, a lot of the games we're playing recently? I don't know. So we've got this, all the previous games. We've got fucking Andy and Lele's coffin. Mm -hmm. Your can't your channel is turning into a a cannibal, a cannibal channel. You know what's funny? I remember tweeting out, uh, "Murder bad, cannibals I'm okay," <laughs> or or good. <laughs> I think I tweeted that out at some point. Yeah, because it was during yeah, a, a Minecraft stream where I was just tweeting a bunch of random bullshit. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh... <sighs> but he took on the form of someone you loved. How could you possibly harm him? I admit, I was upset earlier, but next time there will be no mercy. Also, 
Busta came in to say hello for a bit, then left. Betrayal. Jay took out her phone. Oh yeah, I, I also did the Cindy voice for Lucy. Dad, Bruce, I figured out where Marty's address is. I figured out Marty's address. It's N O number N N. It's, it's, this isn't an actual address. <laughs> <laughs> I understand why they put in, wouldn't put an actual sounding address in the game, but this just hurts my brain. Drake, Parrot City. That's a city right next to Footville. You know it is, because it's the one that we were at in the last game. Mansplaining, or I guess... a uh, Womansplaining. Oh my god. Lucy... Can I get you to go to the top of Mount Candy House tomorrow? There's a certain evil spirit that's just asking to get his face burned off, along with all of his evil spirit friends. Aw, uh, yeah! I'm so ready for this. He's gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> Luc Lucy is going to die. Is that really necessary? Sometimes you have to be cruel for the sake of your loved ones. <sighs> if he thinks he can use my boyfriend's face and get away with it, he's so very wrong. But he has an evil eye. How do we deal with that? Flip him off. <laughs> Marty has an Azar on hand. Though, he got it from me in the first place. That should prove effective. So... Uh, oh, it, that's you. So, I was wrong about Marty. I mean, it kind of pretty much would probably be obvious by now. Obviously. She was hopeful. So that she would be able to justify hoping to get her girl. <laughs> it was the cannibal boy who went to Sally's house to tap on her window. <sighs> and he even pretended to be Marty, so Sally didn't know who to trust anymore. Sally, please be safe. EA Sports in the game. Oh, we can now go to the hospital area. Nice. Marty's house is in that direction. <laughs> Great, um... North, south, east, west... Which way? <laughs> it, it is in that direction. <laughs> You're bad at navigating. Shut up. Ah, oh boy, don't you love suburbia? Sanitized exactly the same houses with yards and gates, all lined up in a row, alienating each other from their fellow man. What was I talking about? How about final? Is this his house? Or so, this is his house. A week ago, Marty supposedly. 
that Sally to come here. Then both of them win. Let's see. No one's answering. You don't suppose Sally and Marty are all ready? Hey, stop overthinking. But... Did you but, forget what I said already? But... 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 Oh my god. <laughs> Penis. You made the joke even egg. worse. <laughs> but getting anxious doesn't help anything. I said getting anxious doesn't help anything. I understand. Fuck you. Well, why didn't you continue? Because apparently the guy with the million followers is messaging me. Uh. Okay. We don't know what we'll find in this house. There's someone in there. If someone in there needs saving, panicking will only. Oh, fuck. Excuse me. Make things worse. No. If we do complete this game before the end of stream, mm -hmm. uh, would you be thinking doing, uh, Andy and Lele, or maybe doing some. Arctic phone. Probably Andy and Lily. Uh, the only thing is, I don't know. Cause it says it'll save chapter one in progress, but at the same time, I got the Andy and Lele off of um, Itch.io, not Steam. Hmm. So I don't know if it'll actually transfer. Well, if it doesn't, we get to review all of the incest. And probably just Yay. skip everything. I mean, we already know what to do. <laughs> or do you? Fuck you. Right? Yeah, anyways. <sighs> Lily took two deep breaths and calmed herself down. If only she had a superpower, she'd make a decent exorcist. We're soon going to find out she has a superpower, likely. Anyway, let me unlock the door. Girl, trespassing is the least of your concerns right now. Right. <laughs> unlock the door. You mean we're going to trespass. I don't need that on my criminal record. No way, it's fine as long as we don't get caught. <laughs> Use my logic. Uh. I feel like you keep you die. Mm. Ah, 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 oh, oh. I feel like you just keep spitting out evil spirit. The door opens. Just another way to use spirit miratalization. 
<laughs> Materialization. Materialization. Not, oh. not, not meteorization. Materialization. And I get an evil spirit to pass through the door and materialize on the inside. Then it can just open the lock. No fingerprints left behind either. It's unsettling how perfect this is for committing a crime. Jade pulled out some plastic gloves from somewhere. Since it doesn't clarify where, I just imagined a black hole just opens up near Jade, and she reaches inside and pulls out the gloves. <laughs> and everyone's nah, just okay Jade's... with it. <laughs> nah, you know what? Jade's got a purse of Holden from D&D. &D. Yeah. <laughs> basically infinite storage in an alternate dimension. Put these on. Why are you so used to this? Because they used to be cops. No. <laughs> also, Slayer. House Rental Agreement. Address N O N N R R R R R R Road, Footville. Landlord J J J J D D D D. Tenant Martin Stu. Martin Stu. That must be Marty's full name. Martin Stu. Well, well, so he's a Marty Stu, huh? Sally's mother mentioned that Marty plans to move to Footville to live with Sally. Perhaps he is more serious about his relationship with Sally than I thought. Or we can get to the point where Lily's okay with Marty being with Sally. I'm guessing. If only he wasn't such a control freak. Well, from what we know from case two, there's a reason why he's uh, trying to do certain things. Because of Sally's, um, issue. You're thinking of, uh, extra case. Oh, yeah, it was extra and case. case yeah, forgot about that. Case two was hospital. Oh, right. Where we first got introduced to them. Yeah. I don't think Lily knows. <laughs> no. I wonder if she would still be in love with her if she knew. Mm. A towel with blood on it. Uh oh. That's not a good song. Oh no, not oh god, it's not pictures. I remember this from from the other one, the case. The the extra case. A photo of Marty and his parents. This must be Marty. Parents I robbed him. It robbed him of his parents and his memory. So he's not even sure about who he is. At that time, Marty had just lost his parents. And oh wait, that's the wrong voice. <laughs> I was just doing a male version of fucking Shade. <laughs> anyway, I mean, it worked. Yeah, I'd rather them not have similar voices. So that way, I don't yeah. get confused. 
At the time, Marty just lost his parents and his and his memory. And he came out of his coma to find the hospital overrun by a cult and zombies. If he hadn't had Sally there for emotional support, he would have gone insane. You're a very tracked infection. What the fuck is wrong with you? A lot. Why is the urinary tract infection the, 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 such a big meme for you? That you just I don't know this. why it's painted such a big meme for you. At least mine's longer and more complex. Well, mine helps make babies. <laughs> well, do you think I value that much? Huh. Hatchet likes abortions. Good to know. No, I do not. <laughs> oh, so so you're pro-life. I'm sorry. I'm, so <laughs> I'm pro-choice because I don't like abortions. Yeah, that, that's fair. A pro-life position just makes more abortions happen. And with them being unsafer. Yeah. But anyway. I thought ill of him because I thought he kidnapped Sally. But now that I think about it. <laughs> perhaps he's just an unfortunate victim in this string of incidents. Bes you know, besides a serial killer. You know what I'm starting to think of? I what? wonder, you know how Sally admitted going to a mountain with Marty? Yes. What if the cannibal boy did that to destroy that statue so he can be free roam again? Because remember, in one of the times where she went up, the statue got destroyed. Yeah, the thing that was holding him back got, like, busted. But it wouldn't make sense for the cannibal boy to be interacting with him at that point. Fair. Because, like, the cannibal boy became active again because that thing got damaged. We'll probably find more information about that later. Okay. Plus, even if he goes missing... He has no one who cares enough to notice or report it. I know we have to go here, but I'm getting a bad feeling with that door. I mean, yeah. Oh yeah, there, there's the log. Congrats. Well, it looks like we can't access the log till everyone does speaking, though. So I hit escape, it'll yeah. continue to the next line, which, which is kind of annoying. Yeah. The door to Marty's room. Would Sally be behind this door? Oh no, I wonder if they're going to see the things in extra case. Maybe. Corpses. My favorite activity is corpses. But if she is, wouldn't we hear something inside? Stop freaking out. Oh. One of these is going to lead to a bad end. A bad ending. One of them is going to lead to a good ending. I'm pretty sure. We can't. I mean, we can't know that for sure. But can try. Oh. Uh, so we actually have to go through the door <laughs> to continue. Either that or you could just try leaving something inside. Betraying. Yeah, we could try. Oh, yeah, we can just Walk leave. Walk out of the house. Yeah, we can just leave, but we don't know where to fuck to go. Damn. It looks like Oh yeah, we have to go back. Right, not go back. Yeah, yeah, we you actually have, have to, to open go. the door. Yeah. 
just didn't even try to go to the library. Time to open the door. Oh. Blood. Nobody. Just red paint on the floor. Well, at least we didn't find two severed heads. If the cannibal boy had gotten them, he would have left those and eaten just their bodies. You. But then, where could Sally possibly be? Don't step in it! You found a kitchen knife on the floor and a pool of blood that hasn't been wiped clean. Is this Sally's blood? What? You have B negative blood too? If I ever need a transfusion, I hope I can count on you. Is this the day then? I sure Sally. I, I sure hope Sally didn't try to make, take on the Kendall boy with this knife. That wouldn't do anything against the spirit. Or maybe something even more fun went down. What on earth happened in this house that night? It's weird. Maybe Sally's disappearance has nothing to do with the cannibal boy. Capture the flag. How could it have nothing to do with him? It was the cannibal boy who pretended to be Marty and came to tap on Sally's window. But Sally was Betrayed. convinced that it was Marty who'd come to tap on her window the entire time. The... True, but we know it can mimic voices and looks. And faces. What? That... Is Jay just trying to put it on Marty? <laughs> Even though it could be I mean, I, it's not him. Like, it... Well, I mean, she's basically just doing, like... Like, we don't know for sure whether it was the Cannibal Boy or actually Marty outside the window. Sure. We just don't know for sure. It's a, it's, it's a, a reasonably safe assumption that it's the Cannibal Boy, but we just don't know for sure. Mm-hmm. Whatever do you mean? Maybe Sally had... Uh, there, there's two hats here. Yeah, that's proper. Oh, it is? Oh, that's right. Maybe Sally had had enough of Marty. The English language is trash. Yeah. So, so maybe that night, as soon as she arrived at Marty's house... She stabbed him to death with the kitchen knife, buried him, and then fled. Oh, that's not where I thought it was going. <laughs> no, that's not where I thought it was going. Well, I, this sounds like one of the least probable theories. Yeah. As Brucey very quickly points out. Bury him. Where? What the fuck? What happened? Okay, that was weird. Hatchet, can you hear me? Hatchet. Hatchet. Oh. Hatchet, can you hear me? Can I not be heard? Okay, I can hear you now. What the fuck? What the okay. fuck happened? Stream crashed for five seconds and re came back. That's really weird. I haven't had that I in guess a while. I don't see storms. I can see the star. I can almost see stars coming out. So it's not weather. 
Well, then again, I have Verizon. Verizon can do random bullshit. Sally would never do such a thing. Hey, it's break it to you. Yes, she would. <laughs> but she doesn't know. Yeah. <laughs> she was quite literally trying to reconstruct her boyfriend out of parts of various guys that looked like her boyfriend. Yeah. If I remember correctly. Yeah. Everyone has a dark side. I have one, so does Brucey. It's naive to think Sally is an exception. You must have one, too. The bond between lovers is not as fragile as you think, you psycho. Aggressive. Since when are you so romantic? Then what do you think happened that night? What the f- Brucey! <laughs> Jesus Christ! These people are too unhinged to try to come to reasonable fucking detective-like conclusions. Why are you just instantly coming to the idea, Oh, maybe Marty just- Thought off her arm. <laughs> That's a normal thing to do. <laughs> yeah. And what we saw in Extra Kate. Wait. Uh, now that I started thinking about it, Marty technically has a power. Cause, does he? Because in Extra Case, we constantly use the power to reverse time. Yeah, but can't remember. Did that have something to do with that Nazir? It may have. So, Marty technically has Maybe. the power to mess with time. Maybe. Yeah. But anyway. Yeah. Marty could have just chopped off Sally's arms to keep her from opening the window. <laughs> Lily would be <laughs> the normal person here. <laughs> Why would you come up with such terrible hypotheticals? Like genuinely awful, unbelievably bad, silly in every imaginable way, but in the worst way possible. Absolutely downright awful suggestions from both of you. You should be ashamed for what you have caused. That needs to be clipped. <laughs> yeah, but Bookworm's not here. Fuck. Perhaps they just took revenge in the house Marty rented because the cannibal boy targeted this place. I admit that's possible, but it's still wishful thinking. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> It's significantly more plausible than anything you two fuckers thought of. Um, I- okay, in terms of unreasonability, right now we have Lily, and then Jade, and then Brucey's idea. Yeah. Enough. We'll find out if Sally and Marty are dead or alive once we get to Marty's rented house. All right. E e e e. I so look forward to seeing your face once you see what's become of Sally. Jay, do you know what happened to Sally? Uh. Jade, Jade, baby girl, do you know what happened to Sally? Right. In all honesty, the most likely scenario is that Sally was killed by the cannibal boy, and Marty went into hiding in fear of being suspected of murder. Oh, we gotta check something. Okay. 
No, I'm still alive. Okay. You're still alive? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I was just giving... Restream sent me a, a message saying, Oh, stream has ended. Here's your insights. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure stream's still going. <laughs> do those insights have anything to do with the very likely botting of your follow or of your viewing right now? I don't know. Anyways. Even if we succeed with this exorcism, Sally can't pay us if she's dead. Normally, I would drop the case at this point. Fuck you. <laughs> but not this time. That bright meat. That. I said that bright <laughs> instead of bright. That bright needs. That bright needs to learn a lesson. Yeah, that bright does need to learn a lesson. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Anyways, that brat needs to learn a lesson. <laughs> Sounds like he said bright with a southern accent. <laughs> that there brat just did a thing I don't like. <laughs> oh, now you gotta read the address. Fuck. Number N N R R R R Road, Footville. It's that way. That way. Oh yeah, now we can go here. Visit Marty's rented home. Brucey. Could you please get on with unlocking the door? You adapted to our ways already. That was a question mark. Hold on. I hear something. There's someone inside thinking. Let me share with you. Oh. Go away. Leave us alone, I assume. That's Marty's oh, no, that's voice. Not... Voice. What is Marty's voice, then? I don't remember what Marty's voice was. I think I just used my regular voice. Yeah, just like the... Basically the male version of what you're doing with... Uh, Jade. Yeah. Or more male, more masculine. Us. So Sally is safe. But if she's really safe, I should be able to hear what she's thinking as well. There must be limits to your telepathy, though. Perhaps Sally is simply out of your range. Oh. Damn. Marty, it's me, Bruce. I can unlock the door right now if I want to. Why don't you just come out? You two. Well, long time no see. He was here all along. Why didn't he answer the door? We haven't seen each other since the paranormal hazard. Y yeah, when we teamed up to fight against the cultists. Jesus Christ, we know what it's about. Right. <laughs> we've, we've come quite a long way. Till we come in for a quick chat over tea. You know, the house is such a mess. I don't think you want to come in. Yes, yes, we do want to come in. Given all that's happened to Sally, 
He seems a little too calm. H hold on. You. Have we met before? Uh, I don't think so, actually. I'm Sally's bestie, Lily and Lily, because my parents didn't like me. <laughs> We've been close friends for a very long time. So you're Lily. Sally talks about you a lot. You can call me Lillian. <laughs> no, she does not like him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you, Lillian. We're searching for Sally. Is she with you? No. But you definitely invited Sally to your house a week ago. After I fell asleep that night, Sally went off somewhere. No matter how hard I searched, I couldn't find her. How could I possibly tell her mother that? That's why I hid here. Liar. What about the knife lying in the puddle of blood in your room? Maddie. What are you hiding from us? Crap. Brucey held Marty down. Brucey held Marty down by the shoulder. Don't you run away. Get, get off me. Well, well. Were you able to read him? Is Sally safe? Sally is, uh, and sad. I immediately... Wait, why is this... What? Why is this put like this? I don't like, know. Like, this would normally be the narrator's job. Why is Lily narrating? I don't know. I immediately pushed Marty aside. And rushed into the house. Lair. In my haste, I accidentally broke a bottle on the table and cut the back of my hand, drawing some blood. However, the pungent smelling liquid from the bottle made me forget the pain. I know this smell from the anatomy lab. Oh, it's formaldehyde, ain't it? Yep. Yeah. Jesus. Okay, for starters, if you actually just cut your hand on formaldehyde, first thing to do is go wash off your hand immediately. Second thing to do is immediately get some kind of mask over your face. True. It's formaldehyde. Capture the flag. It's so cold in here. Police, come and get me out. Oh no. Sally, is that where you are? Stop. Right? Oh, okay. I'll let you. But uh, you could hatch it? Out right away. Oh. Am I not coming through? No. Okay, so it went like this. It said, I'll let you out. Discord paused. It didn't immediately let you go, uh, like, for like a few seconds. Then it went back to out right away. 
Oh, is the yeah. Discord's been lagging a lot lately. I don't know why. Yes. <laughs> oh well, she's dead. Hmm. Head. So. So we. I finally found you, but actually, a part of me already knew. Okay, here's my here's my hypothesis right now. Yeah. What I want to guess is that just like running in the back of my head. Mm -hmm. What if the cannibal boy? did get Lily. And Marty's response you mean was Sally. to try to pres yeah. yeah, Sally, sorry. Get Sally. And then Marty's response to what was to preserve her head hoping to somehow get her back to life. Right. That's 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 my that's that's my head canon of what's going on right now. That's my idea. Anyway. When I found the puddle of blood, I knew it would end up like this. What the actual fuck? What? There's a school bus outside my house right now. Oh fuck. It's 26 p.m. Who the fuck is taking kids home? It's 26 p.m. on a school I mean, bus. I mean, if there was like... Uh, say, someone who, like, actually, uh, works for the school, or maybe it was some kind of school event that they're coming back from. Uh, okay, now it's getting a bit weird. They're flashing hazard lights on, on the school bus. What the fuck? You know, I think I'm just not gonna go outside. <laughs> I mean, even, even if they're, like, what like even if there wasn't anything bad happening outside there's children out there presumably true stay away from the children they will hurt your brain cells when i found the puddle of blood i knew it would end up like this i just didn't want to believe Wait, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, what? Yeah, yeah, that's, yep, yep, yep. I'm guessing, yep. Uh-huh. What? Her eyes. They're open. As if by telepathy, Sally's voice rang directly in Lily's head. Oh. Oh. Kill me. Please. Oh, God damn it. The dogs are barking at the school bus. No. Ah. Uh. Oops. Huh. <laughs> what kind of joke is this? A nightmare? Jade slapped Lil uh, Lily in the face. Ow! <laughs> the show's just getting started. Don't go insane just yet. What? <laughs> she just got bitch slapped. Well, no, I'm laughing at just the casual placement of a head on the table. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is what he's he's confirming my hunch. Wait. Assuming he's not a lying bitch. True. 
Late in the night, once Sally got to my place, the Campbell boy came again and kept tagging, agonizing Sally so much that she gave in and opened the window. We tried to resist the Campbell boy, Sally with the knife and me with the Nazar, but we failed. Only Sally's head remained, and I just stood there stunned. But then a revelation came from above. Yeah, that's what happened last time. A revelation came from above, and he got his time resetting powers. That's right, yeah. Wait. If he still had his time resetting powers, he could have just reset and started over. I'm guessing he didn't have those powers anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For, uh... Some reason he just forgot right. them. <laughs> he just forgot, forgot how to do it. He forgot his most overpowered power. <laughs> you know, it's a pretty normal thing, just like the ability to warp space time. Just forget about it. <laughs> and I know you snuck something home with you from the paranormal hazard boy. A revelation. <laughs> now I know which deity he's talking about. It started with a cult to perform a mass human sacrifice. They infiltrated Parrot City's General Hospital and spread a substance called the Undead Extract there. Oh, he's using that on her? Ugh. Bro. No. Bro, man, you gotta, you gotta let go. Right. Like, you're doing this without having even the slightest idea of how to bring her back to normal. Right. Something from the paranormal hazard. It had better not be the undead extract. Yeah, it was. I stole some after beating the cult's grandmistress. Why would you even want to keep something like that? I don't know, but I just felt I needed to take it. Maybe it was all part of some deity's plan. Again, I mean, if I didn't have the extract, I would have lost Sally, you know. And here comes Lily. Sally! Oh, oh what? I thought Sally was just gonna- I'm uh, not Sal Sally. Lily was gonna come over and bitch slap Marty. <laughs> That's what I'm I was thinking was about to happen, yeah. <laughs> Sally, how could this happen to you? Lily reached out with trampoline hands and tried to pick Sally up. Still we- Oh, evil eye. The- those eyes. The evil eye awakened inside of her. Oh. Uh, no, please. Oh wait, no, that's the other- No, please. Don't let me smell blood. Oh, yeah, didn't it, like, when she smelled blood before, like, an extra case, she, her per personality changed? Maybe. So I that, think, yeah. Yeah. This is just a shitstorm of continuity shit. Yeah. <laughs> Lily looked at the wound on the back of her hand, and then back to Sally. Wait, don't tell me you've become a... Time to feed Sally. <laughs> Marty cuts his own wrist with a box cutter and shoves it against Sally's mouth. Oh no, I guess it just is because she doesn't- because she's a fucking zombie. Uh... No. 
I don't want to drink anymore. I know you're thirsty. Uh, uh, uh. Sally frantically sucked Hardy's blood. As she did, wriggling suits of pink flesh stretched out from the severed area around her neck, as though searching for her lost body. Ah, very cute. Like the leech I kept when I was a little girl. You, you kept, kept the leech as a little girl? Why would you have that, of all things, as a pet? It's, like, it's not the most unusual, but it's still pretty out there. Right. I... Can't bear to watch. Marty, I begged you to kill me. Why won't you listen? I don't want this. I don't want to become a monster. You're overreacting. It's just a simple change in diet, that's all. Guy's lost it. He's completely out of touch with reality. You're the one who gave me hope I needed to survive the paranormal hazard. Now it's my turn to give you hope. You know what I'm also starting to think? What? Since extra case didn't have a number, could it be non-canon? I doubt that. I mean, maybe. Yeah, because the houses we've checked so far didn't have that room before. Or like that basement room. Well, yeah, but that was like a secret entrance that needed to be opened a very specific way. Hmm. But yeah, it might be non canon. Oh, God. Hope? Did he really say hope? Marty. Or are you worried about money? Don't worry. I got some inheritance and a life, life insurance payout from my parents. We can. Bitch slap him. That's, that's enough. Stop it! Actually, I'll be perfectly fine if she stabs him. <laughs> oh, that would be overkill. I think. This whole situation is so fucked. Yeah, it is. We don't need Lily to become a murderer, too. Fine, just have Jade do it. <laughs> just toss that the name would be more... Jade. <laughs> I mean, that, that would be... That, that would be more acceptable in my mind, because... Jade's already fucking unhinged. Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> I... Yeah. Why do you never listen to what Sally wants? Why do you just force your love on her? What Sally wants is dignity. She wants to die as a... I know that. I know. Alright. Don't you think I want to give Sally the love she deserves? But you're saying if I really love her, I have to kill her. How could I ever do that? Can you? Dot, dot. Lily. Sally, you're my first friend, my first love. 
and the one who brought me out of my isolated world. You gave me everything, so I desperately wanted to do something for you, too. So when you confided me, I jumped at the chance to give you advice. But I never imagined it would just make matters worse. That's why I rushed to come find you. I put up with these two, as suspicious as they were, and broke out of my shell in ways I never had the courage for. I even went and almost died at the hands of an evil spirit. And all for what? So that I can kill you? You think something's gonna have to do with the fact that, uh, they have the same type of blood? That has Maybe to come up. Right? Yeah. Hmm. But anyway. Right? Yeah. I have no right to criticize Marty. If I had been there that night, you were decapitated. I would have done the same thing. Oh my gosh, I was looking up to see if the game was canon or not, and it's not confirmed. Yeah. But, um, on the Steam page, one of the places I looked at, someone commented on the game, because you know you can make comments on games. They said, yes, yeah. made me feel like an extra virgin. Definitely worth it. Trust. Wh what? <laughs> What does that mean? I don't know. Okay, yeah, whatever. Extra virgin, yeah, okay. It's just like your past lives, or your your ancestors are also virgins immediately once you say that. <laughs> That's what extra virgin is. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. If, if someone was to retroactively make everyone every one of their ancestors virgins they would instantaneously cease to exist mm -hmm. anyway oh we, we did this one alright what am I supposed to do? Sometimes you have to be cruel for the sake of your loved ones. Oh, this nope. is probably choosing an ending. Probably. Oh yeah, it literally it does it for all of them. It does it for all of them. Damn it. Oh, that's so annoying. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we get the normal ending and the quote unquote happy ending if we persuade Sally to live. <laughs> it's, uh. I'm pretty sure the bottom one, the game will go on longer. So we probably should go for the one on top. I mean, yeah, but like, no matter what, we still have to deal with the cannibal boy, right? Yeah. But, I mean, I don't know. Which one do you want to do first? Oh, time for murder. Okay. That does seem to be the most merciful thing. I'll do it. I'll relieve Sally from her suffering. What do you mean by that? Uh, 
I cradled Sally and ran outside to where there was sunlight. Perhaps, in the sun. But as soon as I got a foot out of the door, Marty grabbed Lily by the shoulder and swung her around to face him. Give her back. Give Sally back. No. Why are the other two not helping? <laughs> because they aren't paid to help in this situation, maybe. Please, I don't want to use force. Marty grabbed Lily's arms and tightened his grip. That hurts. Marty, you led. Oh, wait, no, that's the Sally. Malty, you let go of Lily. Ha, <laughs> evil eye, bitch. <laughs> what? I can't move. You realize that's not, that's not something a normal human can do. Sally's clearly becoming less human. I have to do this before that happens. Lily took a few cautious steps towards where the sun was shining. Marty, I'm sorry. I just can't keep on living by your side when I'm like this. No, don't say that. Marty tried to rush forward, but Sally's gaze froze him in place yet again. Lily, you're my best friend forever. <laughs> Now and always. Damn, friend zoned. God damn it, don't take my jokes. <laughs> I don't want you to feel any guilt for doing this for me. Sally, I. What? I love you. I love you too, Billy. And thank you. Now I can rest in peace. Lily grinted her teeth and took a step back out of the shade. I can't tell if this Wait, is supposed what? to be me speaking or you. Well, yeah, now it's saying Lily. What? Why is it bouncing back and forth between <laughs> Lily narrating and the narrator narrating? Should I just read his name? Because it's an everyone's damn job. I mean, I can because like this is this would probably become like. Uh, first person if it continues. As soon as that was exposed to sunlight, she began to turn back. Oh, damn. You gonna get any nice art? This shit? As she became lighter and lighter in my arms, 
I felt something in my heart fade away. And nope, we don't get nice art. <laughs> I wonder if case three is like the final chapter, like the nail in the coffin. I don't know. Maybe. But Stelly, the love I feel is different from yours. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This is definitely the narrator. Okay, that's a glit. This is it, this is definitely supposed to be the narrator. I mean, it's still saying Lily, so I assume that it's supposed to be Lily. After that, Brucey and Jay took Marty's bazaar and went up the mountain to exercise the cannibal boy. Marty was left utterly devastated. He was later arrested on suspicion of murder, an unlawful disposal of the dead. He was even treated as the prime suspect for the Hill Polly serial murders. <laughs> he didn't even do any of them, so he was, <laughs> he was falsely yep. accused. <laughs> then again, he can't exactly put a, take a ghost to jail. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> The police announced they had now solved. Wait, okay. This guy is not old enough to have been the original serial killer. Right. The, poli the police in this situation are just knowingly being. are just knowingly lying. Yeah. This game does mimic reality. Yep. Wait, what the. Wait, why do I. Why is this open? Anyway. The police announced that they were now- They had now solved. <laughs> what had been a whole case. Reassuring the public and calming their fears. Whether or not he was the true murderer, no one seemed to care. So the exorcism of the cannibal boy just fucking happens off screen. Oh, that's great. Now you see what I was looking for is uh spoilers for Attack on Titan final ending. It's basically a similar thing, one of the last panels in Attack on Titan. Which is specifically uh Mikasa finally kissing Aaron, who is just ahead. Is he dead? Yes. Oh. G. She has to kill him. And she kisses him after she's cut off his head. Oh, there's more. Oh. One, One. year. Oh, wait. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> One year later. It's been quite a while since I came to Footville. She does not look happy at all. Mate, the love of her life is dead. What do you expect? Oh. I mean, oh.
Curse you. I see. The village is still full of evil spirits. Die. Hmm. <laughs> what the? What? Has, she, I guess it's a gun with silver bullets. She got silver gun. Is she now an exorcist because of all this? I guess. <laughs> Hell. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that confirmed it. Because. Because these are silver bullets. Now, stop. I'm fairly certain she would be getting into a lot of trouble for just fucking firing off a gun in the middle of a city street in Japan. Right. Or at least presumably in Japan. Please, spare my life. But you're already dead, are you not? Later. Capture the flag. Team Deathmatch. Oh wow, apparently there's a, a warrant for arrest of some... ...some guy. And it's got posted on the Virginia subreddit. That I'm somehow being pinged for. Okay. Yeah, apparently he took down posters of Jewish hostages. Took down posters of Jewish hostage hostages? Yeah. Like, are we talking propaganda folders for Israel? Or is this just like a case of actual anti-semitism oh here's a line that he says what about the palestinian children he says confidently apparently as i said before he got he ran off I mean, okay, but like, like, is there a copy of what the posters were? Nope. Like, it's just saying pictures of, of Jewish hostages. Uh, people are, oh. Oh, it's talking about kidnapped Israeli kids. So yeah, it's. That's what the poster is talking about, so, um. That should confirm things. It's talking about the stuff going with Israel and Palestine. Uh, Palestine. I think it's yeah, called. and what, what that basically is, from the sound of it, mm -hmm. is just mm -hmm. propaganda specifically designed to cover up the ongoing genocide. Yep. I probably shouldn't say that word, but... In which case, like, unless there's, like, more information about this person, mm -hmm. that, like, they're an actual anti-Semite, this sounds like a fairly reasonable thing to do. Fair. Like, when, when you actually take a step back, what is the purpose of putting up propaganda like of posters that are specifically aimed at trying to lead you to take the side of Israel when Israel doesn't actually seem to be giving a single shit about the people that have been taken hostage considering the fact that they just keep dropping bombs on everything oh great Why? apparently after he took a, a, a posters apparently a bunch of college students put more up uh fun.
I'm guessing there's like no actual pictures of what the posters look like. What the fuck? Apparently people are talking about this, but apparently this is an actual thing with Harvard. Apparently if you go to Harvard and think killing civilians is not an appropriate response to killing civilians, they put your face on a billboard calling you an anti-Semite. Uh, a very common thing now that uh, all them Israeli nationalists are doing is basically just conflating the criticism of the Israeli state with all Jewish people, which is, ironically enough, extremely anti-Semitic. Yeah. What's the fundamental issue when an anti-Semite, like, just calls some random Jewish person and accuses them of being a Zionist? What's the issue with that interaction? It's the fact that the anti-Semite is assuming Jewish equals Zionist. This is literally just the exact same thing happening. Uh... Yeah. And anyway, let's get back to the game. <laughs> yeah, this is the sort of conversation that Twitch has not had a good history of being particularly fond of allowing. Yeah. But you're already dead, aren't you? Eh. <laughs> 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 I just imagine there. everybody do the flop. <laughs> and then you just see them flop over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's these two. It's us. You two are late again. No, you're too early. Are you that eager about exercising evil spirits? Oh, I guess she joined them. Something like that, I guess. Or I guess maybe they called her in? True. What kind of vile spirit is our target this time? After Sally disintegrated into ashes, my emotions seemed to fade away with her. No matter what I do now, my heart is dead, like cold ash. Only the screams of evil spirits' light, screams of evil spirits' light, a semblance of a fire in my lifeless soul. That is concerning. Hmm. Hmm. Depression? You've really changed in the last year, Lily. You're a bit too cruel towards evil spirits. And you know, that's saying a lot coming from someone like me. What Ooh. does it matter? Why- Why do you put it like that, girl? <laughs> Jesus Christ! You could just say, like, evil spirits aren't human... ...anymore. Like, you could just put it like that, you don't need to just say, After all, an evil spirit has no human right. Jesus Christ. Girl. You're exactly the kind of talent I wanted. Well, I need to eat. Would you two care to have breakfast with me? 
Sure. Hmm. Slimy. I must say, the texture is a tad disgusting. But the taste itself is good. Like some kind of meat. Meat of a kind I've never tasted before. Right? Sorry. I'm getting messages from both Discord and fucking Twitter. <laughs> uh. <laughs> from now on. You really are one of us. The normal ending. Ghost Eater. Yeah, the, the quote-unquote normal ending. I eat ghosts! Now we go back here. Uh... Now we gotta do the fucked up ending. <laughs> We're... For when someone wants to die, but we tell them to live anyways. <laughs> uh. Yay. It's too cruel. I can't. You there? Yeah. I, I clicked it. God damn it. Thank you. I understand very well that Sally wants to die. But is death really the only si Bright? I'm pretty sure you clicking off of the game pauses whatever text is coming up. Sorry, I was looking at the other ending. We have one other ending that we have not seen, which is Solution. Oh. Well, we've got really the only solution. Really the only solution. I want to figure out what it is that Sally truly wants. I so wanted to watch her kill Sally, and now she's saying she can't. What the fuck, Jade? Fucking Jade. I suppose I'll wait and see if there are any interesting developments. I'll make the most of it. Whatever it takes to entertain the deities. Don't you think I want to give Sal the love she deserves? Before I talk to Sally about her needs, there's something I must get off my chest. Marty. I realize that you really do love Sally in your own way. Bitch slap him. Yes! Yes! The bitch slap! Yeah. Lily, <laughs> bitch slapped Marty as hard as she could in the face. Huh? But if you truly love Sally, you should stop and consider what she wants but, but I just 
How could you? How could you put your that, girlfriend up? Oh. oh. <laughs> I thought it was... He very clearly says Lily. How could you? How could you put your girlfriend in the fridge next to poor? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> she's got a point there. Besides, formaldehyde is horrible for skin. What were you thinking using that on a girl's face? What, what is going on? <laughs> this is okay. We've got Lily berating Marty because he's not good at taking care of his girlfriend's severed head. Nice. Ooh, time for me to chime in. Exactly. Just look how pale and unhealthy you made Sally look. It's definitely not because of the formaldehyde. Alright, hold on. I'll be right back. Apparently a package is delivered. Okay.
Alright, I'm back. That's it, you here? Yeah, give me a sec. Okay. Generals, how's it going? How's everyone? Waiting for the co host to return. Once the co host returns, we can continue the game. Yeah, basically, I'm trying to look into uh, these flyers that are being talked about. Oh, in my state? Not just in your state. This seems to be being uh, uh, a nationwide thing by some folks. Got it. I did get a package. Okay, what is it? Uh, it's something from um, Throne during the exchange day things like the holidays. Um, yeah. I just got a whole bag full of a sort of can a sort of candy that I love to eat. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's gonna help me stay up tonight.
really busted? Why are you ma uh, messing around with my blanket? Yeah, I hear you, you little shit. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, he'll stop making his little nest thing while I'm watching. Yeah, sorry. I've I've got this hyperfixation on this. Yeah, so looking around at, like, the posters that seem to be being talked about, they're from a unfunded group that's basically trying to raise awareness specifically for the individuals kidnapped, and I'm not seeing too much indication whether or not they're, like, directly holding to, uh any of the more, shall we say, nationalistic views of a lot of the people spreading stuff like this. Mm -hmm. uh, this is such a fucking mess. Yeah, anyways, we're ready to go back. Yeah, sorry about all that. didn't no ex wait that that's not the voice um it's layered no excuses for all you've said about giving Sally hope Look at what you've actually done to her. No wonder she wants to die. 
and you call yourself a boyfriend. You're right. I could have done better. Heavens, I lost myself a bit. Oh, I'm being messaged. Sorry, give me a sec. Butts and penises. And vaginas. No. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. Hatchet does not like butts, penises, or vaginas. God's my head. I also love how Sally's head just looks so unamused right now. Instead of suffering. They just look unamused. I know you are suffering, and I want to release you from that pain. Make girl make up a time. I'm sorry. <laughs> but first. Won't you tell me why exactly it is you want to die? I'm praying that there may be something other than death that might help ease your soul. I... You don't have to say it. You're fed up with Marty, aren't you? Why don't... Why don't we just do away with Marty, then? We know ways to make sure you're free of him for good. No, wait, that's... Yeah, that's Sal. No, that's not true. I still love Marty. You... Do. You look kind of disappointed. I think I understand. You don't want to acknowledge what you've become. Your impulse to crave blood frightens you, as well as how you're becoming less and less like yourself. Is that right? Yeah, it's probably best that we did the kill her ending first. We did do the kill ending first. Yeah, that's I Oh. That that's what I just said. I said it's probably best that we did the kill her ending first. Yeah. Anyways. Yeez. Besides, what's the point of living? If I can no longer do the things I love, 
like baking cookies. But more than anything, I don't want to be a burden on Marty. I'm afraid he'll get sick of me one day. Of Marty that much. You look so disappointed. <laughs> Millie took a deep breath. Don't you have anything to say, Mr. Boyfriend? Sally, I'm really sorry. I got so anx anxious, I didn't even notice that you might be feeling. Maybe you think I just need you for emotional support at the moment. And that one day when I find a way out of my mess, I won't want you anymore. Maybe that was true at the start. But the more I got to know you, the deeper I fell in love. Now I can say with all my heart that I love you. Just for who you are. From now on, I'll be your arms and your legs. I'll always be there to take care of you and never tire of you being by my side ever. <laughs> I'm starting to imagine like he's just walking uh, uh, alone at night with the head and, and someone passes by <laughs> and sees them both talking to each other. <laughs> now, oh jeez. Yeah. That sounds like a... Oh my god, that sounds like a wicked, like, one of, one of those harmless YouTube pranks. Yeah. That's, like, scary, like, pranking random strangers by, like, doing something that's generally kind of weird and freaky, but not actually harmful. That would be a killer one of those. Yeah. Multi. So, when he's not agitated, he's capable of producing some pretty sweet word. But, I still don't want to be a burden. How much longer do I have to put up with this melodramatic crap? I'm here for an exorcism, not this nonsense. <laughs> what kind of burden are you talking about? I'm not much different if you were totally paralyzed. It's not much different if you're totally paralyzed. What? Actually, there is even less of a worry. Marty doesn't have to think about bed sores or bodily waste. All he has to do is take care of one measly head. Brucey, <laughs> Brucey you could be a, a bit more sensitive. What? I'm just being more realistic in terms of the labor and cost of caregiving. Well, I guess you're not wrong. Well, yeah. well, I guess he also doesn't have to worry about having kids. Why is that the first thing you will always come to? <laughs> <laughs> well... At least he doesn't live in Virginia. He can actually get blowjobs. What did you just say? I said at least he doesn't live in Virginia. He can actually have blowjobs. What, are blowjobs illegal? Oh yeah, no, you can get 100% fine for having blowjobs in the state of Virginia. Okay. I think it's like $500. That's really stupid. What's more, Sally, no or 
so I was no ordinary human anymore. You saw those shoots of flesh sprouting from her neck when she fed on your blood. Give it a decade or so, and she might just grow an entirely new body. Grow a new body? <laughs> you just made Sally sound even more like a monster. Sally. Medical science is advancing day by day. In other in another decade, the technology for full body prosthetics may be a viable possibility. <laughs> I'm just imagining some doctor just takes a random head from a cemetery and tries to bring it back to life with a full body prosthetic. <laughs> Fucking reboot of yeah. Frankenstein's monster that no one wanted. Yeah. <laughs> and we persuade you to find some goals to live for in the meantime. What goals could I possibly have? Perhaps you could teach Marty how to bake, or invite him to share in your love of RP, I mean JRPGs. Buy the developer's other games now. <laughs> what do you think about that, Marty? A a actually, I've always wanted to learn how to bake cookies. Would you mind considering? It? Would you consider teaching me? Maybe, maybe I could do that. Besides, come to think of it, couldn't the sequel to you? Oh my god! <laughs> wasn't the wasn't the sequel to that game on their workshops? Probably. As like something that's in production. Yes. Oh my god! He's... We got ads for two games. <laughs> These fucking goofy hacks. <laughs> three three games, technically, because there was also that explanation that was oh, based yeah. off of one of their other games. Oh my gosh, three games. Shouldn't the sequel to Hero King Quest be coming out soonish? <laughs> this this series soon became an ad for three games. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Uh, 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 uh. That's it, Sally. Okay, she's just got to get really good at controlling a gamepad with her tongue. I mean, I've seen people you use different body parts for a gamepad. I mean, yeah. Like feet. There's all sorts of stuff. Not to mention, uh, I'm gonna think of it, the weird tentacles she got, maybe she could learn how to use those. <laughs> no matter how small the goal, try finding little reasons to keep on left. Now this just leaves on a question on how to get the final ending. I mean, we'll probably find out here. Hmm. What if I still decide I want to end things later? Then I will take it upon myself to enact a betrayal.
<laughs> Aww. Okay. Let's a promise, bestie. <laughs> uh, full body prosthetics, huh? At least I could hold up shape for that. Or f hold, hold out hope for that. Sally. I didn't expect her to succeed in persuading Sally. That's interesting in its own way, but I think there's a punchline missing here somehow. Jade has said something to Marty via telepathy. Why does no hide anything from you, huh? Why are you telling me this? You'll be glad I did, someday soon. Ahem. Aren't you all forgetting something? One reason Sally called us here was to exercise the cannibal boy. Oh, right. He also attacked Lily and me last night. What? How dare he attack Lily? Uh, you mean it's... It's fine that he attacked me? <laughs> that was the officer again. In addition to Miss Sarah Sweet's disappearance this week, there was an incident where someone got beheaded in her hometown of Footnell. He also just killed another incident. Wait, that's wrong for him. He also just killed another innocent person. We can't just let him roam free. That little punk has the evil eye. So we need Marty's Lazar. Of course, so it would have been better if Marty came to fight with us. But Marty, please help them protect Lily. It would be doing me a favor too. Now watch like right when it gets near the end, he gets his time powers again. <laughs> okay, Sally. Good. Another disposable meat shield. Fuck you, Bruce. What the fuck? Look, we already know Bruce is a dick. Yeah. The goal is to get rid of the cannibal boy, right? Then we have to wait until the night time and prepare a counterattack for when he comes. Isn't that it? Hmm. I've got, I've got food, so I need to go grab that real quick. Okay. Intermission time again. I'll be back. Yeah, I'm sorry.
Anyways, any danger noodles inside want to speak? Thank you for, thank you, Bookworm. I appreciate it. Hey, Bright. This is some story, huh? Yeah. We may be being botted again, Bookworm, as you can tell.
both die. back. Alright, ready to continue? Yeah. Hey, bookworm. Yeah, they already know everything going on now. <laughs> Are we back to... Yeah. The game... Yes. Game screen? Yes, we are. Okay, let me reload my friggin' browser. There we are. Right. Not quite. According to our investigations, we can't completely exercise the cannibal boy without destroying all of the children <laughs> who starved to death on that mountain. We must destroy the children. So we can't just lie and wait. We have to go on the offensive, and sound is the key to our victory. Sally, that's the Russian voice. Me? You have a plan. First, we go to Mount Candy House and meet up with our companion Lucy. Then we, and then. So, do you all get what we do when the time comes? Only you would come up with something that messed up. Aw, oh, thanks, Brucey. I tried. What choice have we got? We can't beat the cannibal boy otherwise. Who cares what it takes as long as it obliterates him? Sally seems. Oh, wait. Sally seems like a different person somehow. If Sally says so, I'm in. Then count me in as well. Team Deathmatch. Sorry. Apparently, um, uh, the fucking bank says it, something I I bought wasn't uh, it was fraud, even though I paid for it. Bank was being stupid. Uh, what? I got an email saying that. Uh, that's something I paid for, like, earlier today, or, or, no, yesterday, I got McDonald's, and it was saying, oh, yeah, you definitely didn't pay for this, right? <laughs> I had to tell him, yes, I paid for that. Okay. You have to exercise all your evil spirits on that mountain. What good will you be? Uh, 
I will do what I can. Betrayal. Lost the lead. Really? Listen. I'm a materializer. Jade is a telepath. And you, what are you? A girl with a silverware set. I... Uh oh <laughs> huh why hadn't we thought of that as a thing before she just know. casually fine with she just casually fine with buying these people all these bigger meals i am rich all right yeah, uh, I'm gonna double check, make sure there's nothing else going on with my bank. It should not only took me a few seconds. Okay. So you might hear some SCP sounds, just letting you guys know. Yeah. God's my head. Great, and I just uh, finished solving it. There we go. Oh, and I gotta sign out now. Just give me a moment. And there we go. Alright. I am fully back now. Sorry about that. Um, uh, I actually uh, made stream longer because I slept an entire day and had an energy drink earlier, so I'm wired. Even though, medically, I'm not supposed to have energy drinks. <laughs> I only had it because it was Skittles flavored. Yeah. Anyway, did you read this? Oh, I don't know. I'm uh, I'm looking at something. Give me a sec. Uh, okay. Yeah. I am rich. Hey. <laughs> Okay, this girl can't be serious. She ordered eight silverware gift sets instead of food at the restaurant. So having money trumps my ability to exercise my superpower, huh? Good to know. Aw, is poor Bruce bitter? <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was gonna bribe them, now she just goes and buys the shit on a- 
of silverware. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to the mountain. Time to show that ghastly menace the power of my bond with Sally. Wait, did you? <laughs> I was about to say, did you bring the head with you into that store? <laughs> That's that gonna... <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> You mean the power of money? Oh, that's the wrong voice. It's <laughs> Marty. Yeah. You mean the power of money? It's an candy house, yes. Oh shit, he dead. Fuck. Oh. Wait, wrong voice. Oh, good sir! Are you all right? Obviously no. They're dead. Oh. How do you know? He's still alive. <laughs> Those evil spirits are brought in to descend on the village. Possess the villagers. Makes them cannibalize each other. Damn. That's just like the incident at the hosp at the hospital. So they want to start a paranormal hazard here too, huh? Oh, you! You're that exorcist. Please save the villagers. This man is asking the wrong person. Brucey loves working for free. Not to worry. We will protect Footville. Later. Hey. I owe you. What? No. I don't want anyone owing me any favors. I came here to perform an exorcism in the first place, and that had nothing to do with you. You owe us nothing. If you're about to bite the dust, get the heck on with it. <laughs> he died with a smile on his face. <laughs> He's finally dead. <laughs> oh, come on, you sack of shit. It's the cannibal boy. Dun, dun, dun. Slayer. I thought you'd ought to run away. But he came right to me instead. <laughs> we couldn't. Wait, I was about to do like a Master Chief plus Russian voice. <laughs> we couldn't exercise you without coming here. Every time... Now drop and give me 20. That's what I was thinking, too. <laughs> Immediately. Every time I hear that, I know it's not what it means, but still. <laughs> English <Yeah>. sucks. <laughs> I mean, I think cinnamons exist in most languages. True. Oh? Get ready. He's gonna cast the evil eye. Lucy forced. Uh, Lucy focused on his preparations. 
Marty took out the Nazar and thrust it right at the boy's eyes. I like how there's just heavy metal music right now. <laughs> <laughs> did it work? No. It did work on you, not me. My eyes are cracked. I bought this thing from Brucey for a thousand dollars. Dude, you're a cheap piece of junk. Can't hurt me. That's not cheap. Well, to this guy it is, I guess. <laughs> is he also rich? <laughs> Look at the way he's dressed. Of course he's rich. I bought that off a street vendor during my visit to Turkey for an exorcism, actually. Oh, Hell so it actually was. Yeah, <laughs> she was. So cheap. it actually was a cheap piece of shit. He just scammed him. <laughs> yeah. Don't panic. Tap plan B. Take this. Fucking <laughs> my brain. <laughs> my brain said that he was just gonna chuck her head at him. <laughs> I, I can't move. No. What's that you're holding? Tell me, how does it feel when you want to move, but you can't? They're using a victim's head as an assault. What kind of human does that? We certainly don't want to hear that from you. Uh -huh. Don't let him use the evil eye. I have to stave him off without getting close. Nelly held eight silver table knives between all of her fingers and hurled them at the boy as hard as she could. Oh, that's a hey, seems like a waste, but okay. Ow! Oh my god, Besides. she's gonna be just <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Besides the bizarre and against the evil eye. The gesture. The gesture. Please I show I forgot that part of the line. Please show the still art of her flipping the ghost off. <laughs> Please. Lily gave the boy the finger. Oh, come on. Your evil eye is useless. She sealed my evil eye. Brucey, aren't you ready yet? Keep him occupied just a moment longer. What are you doing back there, groping her? Just get on with it. Oh, I can't catch it. They haven't said a word to each other. How are their movements perfectly in sync? Wait, that hag shared a feeling of her pain with me before. So she must be a telepath. I get it. She's the one giving out directions. Oops, he figured it out. Come on out, everyone. Oh, shit. Countless children appeared beside the boy. They all had a murderous glint in their eyes, as if cursing everything in the world. Eat the three in front. Shoot. Pull back! Now! <laughs> Stupid. I was going for you all along. 
Have you forgotten already? I can share my pain with you all. If they hurt Jade, they will all suffer the same pain. <laughs> we'll just kill you instantly. Everyone go straight for a neck. That's Sally, so it's Jade. <laughs> Well, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, oh what? yeah. I remember she's <laughs> one. They, this, this is the payout to her being on her period. Oh yeah. This is. Are you kidding me? A bizarre thing struck the evil spirits. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> It was a dull and sharp at the same time, like hands plunging into their lower adamants and twisting their organs like rags, rendering them nauseous and dizzy. What is this pain? I haven't even attacked you yet. You could say they're a kind of, of pain of adulthood. Little pests. What? Oh, now? Jesus Christ! Hey, I know you. Sorry, people. I'm so late to the party. Where the fuck did I even come from? She just climbed up the mountain. So, I just burn them all, right? Pretty much. I like how Marty is the only one who's shocked right now. Everyone else is just chill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you came good. Now, the ghost eaters are all here. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to be included. <laughs> I think we need a catchphrase like Ghost Eater's a symbol or something. That's stolen from Marvel. Jade. Uh, no, it is not. Avengers a symbol? Right. Yeah. It's a name of a group. Yeah. <laughs> What's the word assemble? Yeah. It has been used so many times. <laughs> it is not stolen. It could be. <laughs> Look at the next one. <laughs> Give me a break. We're not superheroes. This music is just so needlessly over the top for this. Yeah. <laughs> More like a band of villains, if you ask me. We even have a severed head. Huh? I see a new face. I... <laughs> what? <laughs> Gods, I hate this lady sometimes. Hi there. My name is Lucia White. Brucey and Jade saved me before, so now I'm here to return the favor. I still find it funny how Sally's face expression on the model just looks like she's just annoyed <laughs> of everything right now. <laughs> I mean, I don't get that from her. It's just the eyes. But... Yeah. That is... What is it? Anyway. To me. Yeah. Um... It's a pleasure to meet you.
As for my ability, I yeah. It's paranormal fire. <laughs> Sorry about that, kiddo. It's either be eaten in this world, you know? Don't be af- Oh, wait, that's one voice. Don't be afraid. There- There are more of us than them. Oh. You wanna compare numbers? It takes a while to spit out all the evil spirits I've eaten. Uh, how many evil spirits have you eaten again? Do you remember how much jelly you've eaten in your life? Am I, am I connected? Yeah. Oh, I hear you now. That hatchet? Uh, okay, there it goes. Okay, there. Dude, fucking Discord. Uh, you want robot at the end. It, it, you just said something. I didn't hear it. So, Bookman, while well, we're just dealing with their technical difficulties, how are you doing? And hatchet left. Am I in here? Yeah, you are now. Hi. Fucking Christ. So apparently I had forgotten to turn my VPN on. Oh my god. Here, let me get some back up. Oh, got him. There we go. Oh, the ghostly head of the girl. That and... Alright, alright. Yeah, then. Marge! The best friends reunited. How deliciously hot woman. Your way of eating only kills. Mine, on the other hand, keeps them alive inside of me. In terms of the art of eating, you're still just a novice. How dare you treat my friends like that! But don't worry, you'll join them soon. Brucey pointed at the boy and the other children and barked in order at his entourage of evil spirits. Eat them up. This I can't is even... no longer. What? I said I can't even tell what's going on in the picture. <laughs> it's a lot of moving parts, but they're not actually moving. <laughs> you get the drift. Maybe. There is no long... There is no longer exorcism. Or even a battle. This is... 
a one-sided massacre. A predator feeding on its prey. Later. Blinding flames. Terrific screams. Choking odor. Sticky heat. Like a sticky grenade used by the Covenant. God, I hate the Covenant. <laughs> The sound of my heart pounding. If Sally hadn't been with me, I would have thought I was in the Inferno. Perhaps because of the blood red flames. Just for a moment, I could not help but think that. Brucey there was the true cannibal boy. Ha! Oh, name of the game. <laughs> name drop. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, yeah, didn't he eat his boyfriend? Yeah, because I think he was tricked into it, because it's the twin sister. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> Book and roll credits. <laughs> what? What are you? Didn't you hear, Jade? We're the ghost eaters. <laughs> no! <laughs> now, Lily and I don't have to worry about getting attacked in the middle of the night anymore. Still just, still just holding the head out here in the middle of the, in the fucking street. Yep. And no more villagers will be haunted. Thank you for protecting Lily and avenging me. How can I ever thank you properly? You still don't know how this works. You pay. Of course. How much do we owe you? Sally, you are what? Seven heads tall. I guess so? Why? Then I'll charge a seventh of the market price. <laughs> Percy showed Sally and Marty a, cer a certain number with his fingers. Ex- Excuse me, is that some kind of twisted joke? I'm also kind of wondering how rich Lily is. My father is Elon Musk. <laughs> Did not vary. <laughs> I've been cut off, unfortunately. Bruce is dead serious. Incense? He ins incense? He's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're not doing incense that shit. <laughs> I wasn't saying that. That's what I thought you said. The he least a billionaire of her game. <laughs> uh, Sorry. He insists on only charging as much as he works. Again, this, this is why we're so poor. And we're not playing the coffin of Andy and Layla yet, yeah. yeah. Ah, well. This case was mildly interesting at least. I guess it's okay. 
that's all you're if that's all you're asking for, I can pay it right now. Brucey shoved three large bills at Lucy. Brucey shoved bills at Lucy. Yeah, you're giving me share of the profit. No, not your share. It's to cover your transportation fee. Now, as of this moment, we owe each other nothing. All right. We may, he may not be a good person, but he has principle. <laughs> it's like that meme of that Team Fortress 2 character. Our professionals got standards. <laughs> Right? Oh, that's why it's me. <laughs> if any of you ever need anything exercised, you know who to call. <laughs> I, I hope we never have a need for that. Well, thanks for everything you've done for us. Take care, guys. <laughs> you too. Is Lucy just not going to mention the decapitated head? Probably not. Also, I'm getting the feeling that the solution ending has something to do with that door. Because Jade yeah. looked at that door and then spoke. And then. Yeah. Yeah, had secret combo with boy. With Marty, Mar Marty Man. Yeah. I guess I won't have much of a reason to see them again. I should say a proper goodbye. Glad to have met you all. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> what? Goodbye. Thank you so much for coming to our aid. Lily, I hope you. <laughs> I hope you come to visit me a lot. Oh, that's Lily. I was thinking Sally. Or Su whatever her name is. Yeah. Or not Sally. The Lucy. There we go. There you go. Uh, oh, of course. The thought of going to Marty's house alone makes me a little nervous. Jade, could I perhaps ask a favor of you? Oh, what is it? We, we, we don't get to see the favor? Okay. And thus ended my bizarre adventure. Nothing good really came of it. And I made my acquaintance with a couple <laughs> of very odd individuals. But I must admit, never forget for as long as I live later. Five minutes remaining. What's more, I am no longer the timid girl from two days ago. I throw silverware at ghosts now. Oh my god. As for Sally, her situation is truly regrettable. That's why I've decided it's my duty to provide her hope to give her more reasons for wanting to live. I think I'm capable of that now. I have to be. 
a happy ending. Millie's Bizarre Adventure. We never find out what the fucking favor is. I imagine we will after credits. Watch the epilogue of the happy ending. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. One week later. Jade, Nelly, here you go. Marty brought out two glasses of iced tea. Lillian leaves. Oops. Right. Lillian. Might, might he have this exercise the cannibal boy, didn't he? Do you have the axe so cold? Lily took a sip of, of iced tea and gave a frosty reply. I'm only here to visit Sally. I can't say I fully trust Marty yet, so I asked Jade to accompany me. That must be the favor. Uh. I plan to visit Sally a few times a month to help maintain her emotional stability. Come to think of it, where is Sally? She's just resting. I'll wake her up in a bit. <coughs> I'll tell her then. How about I bake you some cookies? Oh, then Sally actually taught you? Very well. Later. Oh, let me give you a quick tour first, though. This is the bathroom. The kitchen's that way. Feel free to check out any of, of the other rooms. Oh... One exception to, though, don't ever, ever open the door to my room. Got it? Ah, that's how we get the final ending. Ah. Uh -huh. Alright, sturdy. But in case we don't, if that's not, like, the actual ending, then I'm gonna save here, to be sure. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'll look around to pass the time. What would happen if I immediately go for the door? Don't... There's other things around. But you have to read anyways. <sighs> I can't exit... There's it. something. <laughs> Sorry. Is there something in here he needs to hide? Like what? Photos of other girls? Oh, we can't even go into it yet. <laughs> oh. Sleeping pills. Sleeping pills. Oh, wait. These are Sally's sleeping pills. Is she still taking them? I don't think she would need to. Does Head have need of sleep? Hello, Polly Daly. Another victim found decapitated with body gone. With two dead and one girl still missing, is the body hunting killer still on the prowl? Police are considering the possibility of a copycat killer. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. It's Marty. Yeah, Marty's like. Marty's trying to reattach Lily's. or. 
I heard, uh, not Lily. Fucking, uh. Why did I forget her name? Sally. Sally. Thank you. Trying to give Sally a new body. How can this be? Are there still evil spirits in the mountain? Did we fail to exercise the cannibal play? What are you looking at? Oh, it's her again. What? Why is that portrait here? Did the one I see at Sally's house have so many eyes, though? The eyes were always there. Couldn't you see them before? Like I said, you can at least count on this deity to hear your prayers. And see, Niaf really did reunite you with Sally. I must say... It's a bit different from the reunion, I imagine. Lily stares at Nia. Nia! Oh my god. But in any case, I offer you my gratitude. Victory. And if it's not too much to ask... Please help Sally get a proper body soon. Next moment, something flashed through Lily's brain. That sounded like static, but also like words. Indeed, that can't be arranged. Now I guess I have to go in here. I guess you have to talk to Marty. Marty is holding a kitchen knife, ready to chop up a big chocolate bar, but his hand is paused mid-air and he stares blankly ahead. Marty, are you thinking about Sally? Yeah. No, Nan, just wait a, a bit longer. I'll fill you up with the best cookies ever before you go. All right. Ah. Uh. I've seen everything there is to see. What should I do next? The only thing I haven't looked at properly is the door to Marty's room. I'd say bright... Bright... I've already saved. I just have to reread everything again. Yeah, but you could just save time. But whatever. Yeah. Being told not to open this door makes me so curious. I'll just take a pee. Oh, it's with all the paintings of the other people. It's Sally. Is she sleeping? I see. I see. Marty said to not open the door so we wouldn't wake up Sally. She really is fast asleep. Perhaps she took her sleeping pills. Is she dead? Hmm. Uh, Are those framed photographs next to her? I should say, like, double dead? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, now we're getting a repeat of what happened in the extra case. Hold on. This is the victim who got decapitated. Why does Marty have her photo? 
What's the other photo? The other victim. Wait, wait. Could it be that it was Marty who killed them, not the cannibal boy? Did he take photographs of his targets and then wait for opportunities to kill them? Oh yeah, so this whole time, the cannibal boy basically hadn't done anything except for attack Lily. Or I mean, other girl, and Lily. Sally, and Lily. So Marty's this entire time been trying to reconstruct a body for, for fucking Sally. Yep. Did Marty copy the cannibal boy? Why would he do that? What's the final picture? But of course, he must want to find a body, a body for Sally. Who's it? Oh, jeez. Oh, no. So the last photo is going to be Lily. Well, we'll see. Who's in the last photo? Yep. Eek! His final target is me? But why? I told you not to open the door to my room. Well, that's okay. Saves me the trouble of having to move your body. Are you insane? A body cannot be connected that easily. You've seen Sally. She's just a head, and she's alive. Common sense doesn't apply anymore. Do you actually think this is going to make Sally happy? Oh, don't worry. I drugged her. She'll have her new body before she wakes up, and she'll have no reason to be unhappy. You. When I try to connect the first body, the shoots of flesh from Sally's neck throw straight into the stump of the corpse's neck, and it seemed like it would work. I didn't expect there to be a compatibility issue. But after the second failure... Oh. I realized it might be a blood type discrepancy. Yeah. So now you're targeting me. Because Sally and I both have B negative type blood. I'll do whatever it takes to fix Sally. Even if it means getting my hands dirty. Where the fuck's Jade? In the other room. Huh? Yeah. In the other room, she's yeah. entirely aware of what's going on. Yeah. Marty slowly raised his hand to reveal the kitchen knife clutched in it. Be aware of your surroundings. You should be- wait, that's Lily. You should be aware of your surroundings. What? Lily hurled the photo frame in her hand at Marty's face as hard as she could. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to die here. If Sally wakes up and finds I die because of her, the guilt will crush her. That's why I can't let him do this. All I have to do is run through this door and get out of this room. Except you're going to be stopped. Or knocked down. Oh wait, he drugged her. Huh? Why did I fall down? Why am I so dizzy?
Good thing I set you some sleeping pills. The ice tea. What is going on with all this commotion? Jade, help me. Oh, you're getting started already? Uh, yeah. What? <laughs> oh, sweet darling Lily. Who did you think told Marty your blood type? Why are you telling uh, why are you telling me this? It was you. L okay, listen. Here's a simple solution. Find a different person. Right. Uh. I thought I was your friend. How could you trick me like this? Oh yeah, but Lily said that she wasn't friends with her. Oh, you're a friend. A very dear one. That's exactly why I repaired this spotlight for you. Look, now you are the focus of this world. All the deities are watching you as you flower and bloom. Stop spouting nonsense. Or just steal it from a hospital. Well, no, the idea is that, like, they need a body that has, uh, B-negative blood. Yeah. Why did I do something to deserve this? I just want to save Sally. Why are you treating me like this? Marty turned Lily over and pointed a knife at her throat. Only because I want to save Sally too. Are you kidding me? Curse the both of you. If you cut my throat, I will cut yours. If you take my body, I will take yours. Even if I have to become an evil spirit, I will kill the two of you, I swear. I know an exorcist duo I can call if that happens. An evil spirit who cuts your throat and takes your body. Hmm. I have a feeling that the legend of the cannibal boy will live on for some time yet. The true ending. New cannibal boy. <laughs> That's the final ending, as far as I'm aware. Yep. Yay! I liked Lily. Which means this is definitely not the end of the series. Mm, probably. It's probably going to be case four. Yeah, I'd imagine at this point. And I feel like the case four is gonna be. I hope it, with case four we play as Lily and get revenge, but I doubt it. I mean that'd be pretty cool, but yeah. Oh wait, what? Let's get started. Oh. A cult club gathering four fatal stories. Oh my gosh, we are we actually gonna be playing as Lily? Oh my gosh, we are. Could it be a different timeline or something else? It may be like the extra case where it's in the past. Maybe. Lily, 
I will never forget you. I have never forgotten any of the friends I had and lost. Oh, Nya. Was this show worthy of your satisfaction? Honestly, <laughs> it wasn't bad. I can't talk for the other deities. But I was entertained at the at least. And this world doesn't bore the deities yet. More importantly, you pass. What? <laughs> I know of a world where you can best make use of your talents. It's time for a reincarnation. I don't know, so the next game will be... Oh, watch the trailer for Peacemaker Bloody Emperor. Wait, is she gonna be in that game? <laughs> oh my gosh, we have to find out. Oh, it's gonna be a lot different from the other games. Which we're playing as. Well, yeah, that, that's kind of like, this is like a JRPG style thing that's like fantasy. Rather than... Oh my gosh, Mind Reader Jade! Yes, <laughs> she is oh, gonna be in that game! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she just got the use guide! <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Or she just had blood and. It looks like she's judging you. So I guess she's not in this story anymore. <laughs> it would be funny if we replayed the game and she's just missing. That would be pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, hold on, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Hey! I just checked. Mm. Even though I got it from Ichio, it still counts onto the Steam game. Gotcha. Yeah, let me just change that. The <laughs> book was like, I know that music. Start, I think I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Okay. So, um, Hatchet entertain the stream while I do that? I was just gonna do you. Oh. They book from entertain the stream while I do that? It totally entertain the, uh, the 20 not so bots watching right now. So yeah, have fun. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. Patch, you back? I assume no. So, Bookworm, what should we do in the free time until uh, uh, Hedge gets back? I see you being back. Oh, never mind, Bookworm. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'm back. What's going on? Oh, I was saying, uh, I asked uh, Hedge, are you back? No response. So, I said, uh, I asked Bookworm, what should we do while we're waiting for Hedge to get back? Are you, are you good to continue the next game, or...? I don't... I don't know. Like, I'm not in the headspace for horror... ...anymore. But I... I don't want to miss this game. We could just do this one another day. I mean, what would you be doing otherwise? I mean, I, I could probably just go get the episode 4 now, because it doesn't cost that much. I can easily buy it. And, uh, because I got like $1,400 and it's only like 10 bucks, I'm pretty sure. That. Mm. Yeah, I can just play that. I just gotta find it in my wish list. It's the question. <laughs> my wish list oh. has 93 games in it. Oh, I didn't play my wish list. That's rookie numbers. Well, I mainly clicked. Ooh, I didn't know they had this. No. Finally brought it to the computer. Yes. What? A game that actually terrified me when I was little. Slender the Arrival. Oh, I thought that's been on computer. Oh, I didn't even realize that it was. I, I heard there was getting a remake. See, I have 204 games in my wish list. Jesus Christ, I'm right. Here's the Fathom Iron Bark. Oh wow, it's not even $10. It's actually. Okay, so Steam's doing them a bit dirty. What? Uh, because you can either buy Fears of Fathom Iron Lookout by itself for $5.99, or you go for the bundle to get like all three of the chapters that you have to buy. But since I already have the others, it's still marking it down by 10%, so I only have to pay $5.39. Oh, yeah, for the bundle? Yeah. Yeah, they do that. Just for myself. No, that card is destroyed. Guess I'll hack my account. Why do you keep the taking PayPal out of Steam? Dumb fuck. I guess the bigger thing is just that I don't have the headspace for voice acting. Yeah, that's 100% fine. I think it's like... Fucking doing that research earlier. Yeah. Just playing thing. Same shit. So let me just leave that. And edit stream info. Yeah. 
this. Yeah, I, I think I think the biggest thing is just I can't handle voice acting right now. Mm -hmm. I think I, I think I will sit in on this though. Or should I? Do what's ever up for you, it's fine. I am interested. Yeah, but it, it also does look like um, my V2 model will be coming along a lot quicker than I thought it would. So I'll either have it in the middle of November or at the beginning of December. We. I, yeah, because I highly doubt I'll get it in October. Because, I mean, October's almost over. <laughs> yeah. The only thing that sucks is that this year I have, both, I have to work both Halloween and Christmas. Oh, that sucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the greatest thing is, uh, what they got slightly annoyed with at my work but I don't give a fuck, and it's illegal for them to take it back. Uh, I took off every night shift in the city. And I'm getting paid for it, even though I'm not working on it. Paid time off. Alright, I think Discord... I think Discord lagged. I didn't catch most of that. Oh. Yeah, I was saying, even though work got pissed off about this, um, but it's legal for them to take it back. I took off every night shift in December, using my paid time off hours. Uh. So guess who's gonna stream every day in December? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Likely the stuff I'm streaming in December is just gonna be VOD stuff, so I don't have to worry about editing it down. Because yeah. October's already going to be a little bit of a hell. Because there are some stuff I want to, yeah. you know, make into videos. I don't want to add a whole yeah. month. <laughs> yeah. for the game to finish. It says it's gonna take uh, 16 minutes, so how is everyone doing? the cheats update. It allows you to put cheats on in the game. But some of these are actually really um. cool. Uh, well, CH clear clears all cheats, which means makes the game normal again. That's fine. CH nor oh, yeah. activates black and white visual mode. It CH view allows you to see out the front port hole. No, the one that's usually closed. Oh, yeah. CH Rave See? makes the uh, lighting more colorful. Come on, OBS. Oh, we're back. 
Oh, we're back, Bookworm? Okay. Okay. We're back. Alright. CH Vest gives you a light. And the last... Uh, yeah, last one. CH Mark activates Markiplier mode. What is Markiplier mode? Apparently... Everything but the uh, the pipes on the walls turn into Markiplier meme faces. Oh my god. That sounds awful and awesome at the same time. So definitely at some point during this uh, subathon, but not subathon, subathon, um, I'm going to play Iron Lung again with these cheats. <laughs> Yeah. And definitely activate Markiplier mode. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Book says doing great. I just robbed the Americans of their money for peace and civilization. Nice. It's Wait, about what? time someone does that to America. Oh yeah, you're rather right. Rather than America yeah. doing it to other places. Fears the Fathom chapters are based off of real stories. I forgot about that. Uh, at least purportedly real stories. Right. And I actually like forgot the con. Oh, yeah. Like both the Conjuring films are based on real stories, quote unquote. The stories that they're based on are pretty notoriously notable as hoaxes. Oh my god, why? There's just bluffing to try to get you to pay them? <laughs> So, uh, yeah, there was actually something I, I, I saw that, uh, that I do disagree, uh, that I do 100% disagree with. Um, mm -hmm. there was, like, a One Punch Man fan who was talking about the SCP fandom, saying how when all of the Keter class anomalies would be placed at the bottom two tiers of the danger levels. I, I admit some of them bottom two tier, but m majority are going to be dragon or god level danger. Yeah. I mean, imagine if 610 entered a one pan punch man world. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it, it made no sense. Yeah. Well, this stupid fucking mobile game. Stop crashing. Wait, now that I think about it, Saitama will actually get what he wants, an actual opponent that he could fight, which would be 682. I don't like Saitama's odds. <laughs> I'm just gonna be real. That's. I have a bad feeling about that matchup. That or 096. Well, I mean, uh, like. 096 is just like. Well, what's the. What's even the point at that. At that stage? You can't touch him without your body melting. What? Oh, 96 is shy guy. Oh, right. <sighs> what were you thinking of? I was thinking of the old man. <laughs> You're thinking of 106. <laughs> uh. Yeah. 
Though, then again, it also... I'm also not sure how it would go either, because... O96 in a canon story was sent to the sun. And when someone found one of the last remaining pictures of O96, O96 he jumped from the sun to Earth and killed him. Though I'm pretty sure he killed more than just him from jumping that far. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Although, let's be real. The logistics of Shy Guy managing to do that are so absurdly stupid. <laughs> like, he wouldn't have a means to propel himself through space once his initial jump off of the sun, sun ended. And yeah. like, like, I know he can jump really, really far, but the dip- you know what, let me just go- let me go double check. As far as I remember, it takes eight minutes from something like a solar flare from the sun to hit Earth. I remember that clearly. Yeah, cause, uh, the, um, oh, because the sun is eight light minutes, light minutes away, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah, so he would have to, he would have to travel 92.47 million miles. Mm -hmm. The act, like, the logistics of him managing to jump far enough off of the sun to actually be able to predict landing on Earth yeah. is just ridiculous. Then again, does anything in the SCP universe actually actually make sense? No, but still. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's generally some underlying reasoning. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing that I would fear, mainly going into the One Punch Man world, is the Keter class anomaly. It's just a chair. Because everyone in SCP Universe realizes this Keter is just a chair. But when it goes to the other world, it is what ev everyone thinks it is. So if someone thinks it's like a nuke that can destroy a universe, it'll, it'll become a nuke that will destroy a universe. Well, wouldn't it need to be like a more collective thing? Yeah, I know, but or like it's... Like, I can't remember how that SCP functions. It, it's mainly just as long as you think it's a chair, and you go to see it, it's a chair. And that's why uh. in that document, it's, it's strictly following that everyone knows that it's a chair. Because it can be anything. Hell, it can even be a black hole. Hmm. I'll solve humanity's problems. Right. <laughs> Which is why that's find that terrifying because that because like I I know like you can't spook me can be terrifying because do the same thing, but it's just a chair can do it at a much bigger level. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This would be one of the easiest SCPs to destroy, assuming some fuckery isn't at play. Right. Convince everyone that it's a burrito. <laughs> Eat the burrito. Problem solved. <laughs> I think they still want to study it, though. I mean, yeah, but still. Like, like, of all the things that, like, the SCP Foundation does decide need to be destroyed, this has to be one of the simplest. Wait, I just like, realized... So that anomaly could actually be turned into a thom thomial SCP. Because you imagine it whatever it is, right? So if people yeah. start imagining it being 682's weakness... Yeah. Could it, like, theoretically turn into that? Just imagine it being, uh, the reverse version of the Scarlet King. Right. 
or hell, they could have used it in an SCP-5000 store, like a weapon that wipes out humanity all at once. It yeah. would turn into that. Wow, that Foundation hasn't really thought about it that much, has it? <laughs> they could literally I mean, be a story. personal tool. I'm, I mean, that's... Uh, uh, to, to be fair, that story was specifically about them deciding that there's something that needs to be completely wiped out about human consciousness. So, something tells me that they weren't thinking in a normal, rational manner as a result of that. Yeah. I also still kind of fear, like, if any of the other organizations, except for Serpent's Hand, I think they wouldn't, like, abuse it. But, like, all the other ones would. They would 100% abuse it. Fucking Dr. Clef gets a hold of it. Yeah. <laughs> this chair is actually... Uh... My, my head just died. This chair is actually a, a, a stable relationship with the peanut. Yeah. <laughs> there. Yeah, I don't think that's ever been tested. Like, could it, like, create scenarios? Like, a whole other world? Yeah. I think that's... <laughs> Should we, like... I wonder if we classify that as the highest level of danger, because now that I'm realizing, yes, if it is. could, if it could turn into a, an entirely new universe, that would be terrifying. Now, here's what we do. We all convince ourselves that it is a source of unlimited green energy. Earth problems solved. Yeah, you know what? So yeah, technically an anomaly is a, a perfect depiction of a double-edged sword. Yeah. Although, again, if you just want to get rid of it, it's really easy. Yeah. Nah, just, like, some rogue, uh... Oh, what is it? Is it the Chaos Insurgency that, like, wants to destroy everything, or is that the... Chaos Insurgency wants to bring chaos and destruction to the world, while GOC wants to kill all of them. Juicy. Juicy. Yeah. yeah, so what if there's, like, just a GOC operative that comes in, finds out about this thing, grabs it, and says, Hey, anyone want some pizza? Done. Their, their job is done. They just oh. have a pizza party. And then, boom, SCP is completely terminated. True, but they can't, technically could use that SCP to wipe out all SCPs. I mean, yeah. But would they? Are they smart enough? No. Probably not. Think no. about the wood chipper. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Where you see a helpful chair, I see a national security threat. Yeah. The only thing is, I can't between those two. Uh, between one, that one and the spear of the non-believer, I can't tell which one will be more powerful. I think it's. Like, it's just through its sheer versatility, the chair would have to be more powerful. Yeah. It's like the Spear of the Non-Believer. What does it do? It can kill immortals. Big deal. You can get you can get the chair to do that as well as make you a taco. <laughs> yeah. Like, you can get the chair to do whatever you want. The one thing I just love about it in its containment cell, because this is canon, it's just one light above it in a very big dark room. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is that your containment procedure? <laughs> I guess in case it changes? 
Well, yeah, if, you, if it changes, you'd want, like, a full room lit up. Right. That can't be good for viewing it. <laughs> yeah, and someone just oh, opens, like, man. someone new in the job just opens the door and just sees a chair in the middle of a big, dark room with a light. I, imagine that's your job, right? <laughs> right? As, like, as, like, a guard, okay? Your job is you get here, and they're not gonna tell you how this SCP actually functions, okay? Because that, that reveals some danger to it, right? They just tell you what they want you to believe. So they're just like, alright, this is a chair. Guard it. <laughs> <laughs> like, what would that, like, that has to be one of the most absurd feeling things for someone in the SCP universe. And, like, that's saying something. Like, you come, like, you're a big military tough guy. You come to this secret agency, uh, like, that operates beyond world governments. And you're assigned to looking at a fucking chair. Yeah. Well, I'm actually gonna look to see if it does have a, a, an assigned MTF force. Cause some of them do. I swear yeah. if it is assigned. If that MTF force isn't called Couch Potato... Or bench warmers. Oh my god. What? Apparently, the Serpent's Hand and the SCB Foundation are working on this anomaly. Oh, they both are working on it? Yeah. Interesting. How the fuck does that work? It's like under secret of the O5 Council, which means if it's under secret of the O5 Council, there is a force attached to it, which is the red right hand. The most powerful MTF force is assigned to a chair. That's an even bigger slap in the face. <laughs> yeah. Do you think that that's like a punishment? Like someone's in, someone in the red right hand is fucking is like rid up for insubordination, so they get sentenced to chair duty for like five days. Alright, because you spit at the O5 council, you will spend a year looking at this chair. Here, good luck. Oh my gosh, it's even worse. What? Apparently every 056 is tasked to find out where this chair came from, which means they are assigned to this anomaly once they come in 056. Uh. <laughs> you control most of the Foundation and a good portion of the world, but you are assigned <laughs> because even here's the one thing that's even more terrifying about this wondrous library has information to the whole multiverse right yeah the wondrous library doesn't know where a chair came from fun Me meaning there's no knowledge of it existing it's just there yeah it's just there. It's been in a chair. <laughs> doing its thing. If, if we, we think too much about it, it'll cause death and destruction. Oh, wait, we know, because it's, it's like 2900. Oh, I forgot its phone number. Which means we actually haven't ri uh, put it on the tier list yet. So, yeah. Oh, oh hey, Darren, hey. we were talking about a chair. Honest, do you, do you? I was gonna ask. Do you intend on doing any Gartic home this week? Man, shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was meant 
that was going to be meant for Bray, but... <laughs> that was so fucking <laughs> And, uh, I don't know. Damn. I could really go for Gartic Bone. That was fun. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I cannot, um... I cannot go window mode. That sucks, so let me pull up a certain thing. So, the one thing I have for, like, um, full screen mode is that mm -hmm. I can have, um, Twitch messages show up on the game. Oh, yeah, I, I heard that that's a thing. Actually, I should probably show it on OBS first, because it shows up on OBS better. Turn that off, turn that on. Yes, you, yes, you. There we go. There we go. <laughs> It show up. Game overlay show stream status. Let me see that. Keep that on there. Book says yep. Oh, it's showing as up. In, as in, like the game showed up. No, I was saying oh, like perhaps. on. On screen where you oh, oh hat more than sec right hatch just so you know what? if you want it sorry just so you know if you want to get um if you want to get um if you don't already have it if you want to get uh um what is it called Fallout New Vegas it's currently on Steam for like three bucks. Okay. Only thing is uh. Uh, I recently got that <laughs> for like a buck fifty because the GameStop was going down. I was having a big sale, so I got cheaper. <laughs> oh, that's good. I think that's I good. could pro come to think of it, I can probably get it for free with my uh Xbox PC Game Pass. Oh, yeah, that's actually a game I wanted oh, yeah. to uh stream at some point for Twitch. I fought New Vegas. Uh, for your um, for your trans um, for for your trans in uh, to promote the trans agenda. There we go. <laughs> trans agenda. <laughs> Why am I not allowed to message anything on my own? I don't want to cheer on my goddamn channel. What the fuck, Twitch? I just oh, want to. Oh, uh, 76. Huh. New Vegas is not on the Xbox app. Why is it not letting me? Hold on, Danger Noodles. I'm trying to figure out something. Oh, I'm no. Trying... There it is. Yep, it's free. Nice. Jesus Christ. No way. I don't have that pass. And I don't have a... I don't know if it would be free. Ah, uh, that probably be why. I didn't I update would... Twitch mobile app. Oh. That might be why I cannot see chat. Damn. 
sounds like a skill issue. Let's try that again. <laughs> I swear, if it's doing it again, I'm going to be pissed off. It's probably not going to do it again. Oh my gosh, it's doing it again. It, it wants me to fucking... Update I cannot it? message. Maybe you should update it. I did update it. When does this can't... game come out? Man, I got something else to do. Hold on. Probably well, we can't. I don't remember. Wait, it should. Sit. One, one sec. I'm gonna look at it. Uh, I'll be able to tell you in a second. Oh my God. Right. I. Right, Hatch, I think you're gonna like the number my this thing is. 2010 is when it came out. So, Four. so my the cost currently is 269. Oh. Nice. Oh. Anyways, um, I can't uh fucking. Okay, Pokemon, can you type something in chat right now? Or someone? Oh yeah, now I can. Oh yeah, now I see it. I can now see chat. I had to, I literally had to go into fucking mm -hmm. um a safari. Type in twitch.tv slash the great doctor bright. Just to see it, I have to watch ads for the video, but I just want to see the fucking chat. <laughs> you should be able to get rid of the video, possibly. Anyways. And just see the chat. Possibly. Hopefully. This game. This This will take about two hours. So you have to watch ads on your own channel, Sag. Hey, more money for me. Capitalism. Yay. Also, Discord stream. Oh, fuck. I already hit new game, May 12th. Hold on, I'll get in just a second. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions when I was watching YouTube to replay Fierce Found the Carson House. Wait. Okay, so hold on. Okay, da -da 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 bum. Da -da -da -da. Okay. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of this bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process any memories of it. I knew that sharing the story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. Okay. I'm Jack Nielsen. I had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet. But I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. The RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. Oh, that's sad. This one time, I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me, though, since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes, and I was off to a new location. It was about two, a two-hour drive. Wait, am I going to be driving again? We already know what happened last time when I drove in the Fears of Fathom game. I somehow broke through the map and died. This time you'll be doing it with a several. Oh my gosh, I'm driving. Significantly heavier vehicle. I remember there was also an ending where I just tra crashed into a car and got an achievement Man. for it. Okay, so hold on, let me do something. Are you, are you gonna. 
I'm pulling over so I don't get hit or hit anyone. Jesus. I gotta read messages. Look, right. You cannot blame us for immediately assuming you would text and drive. I would never text and drive. Alright, oh, so. No, 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 I was assuming that she was gonna run into the forest and run into a fucking tree. <laughs> oh. Anyway, okay. messages from Mitch Scott. Congratulations on transfer. Feeling ready for a change? Just reaching to you and tell you that you've been assigned to Tower 11. Welcome on board. This is Mitch, by the way, from Ironbark. Thank you. Thank you. Heard a lot about you from Josh. Very excited to meet you soon. Just got my ID today. Okay, so they just... Well, actually, they would be around... Oh, wait, no, they said it around twice. Never mind. They got... Wait, they got late for getting their ID. I, I, I have a friend who got their ID, like, when they were in, like, um, almost, like, almost leaving college, so it's not, uh, it's not an, a natural thing. Yeah. I don't, I don't even know if I have a, like, are we talking like a state ID? Yes. Yeah. I don't even know if I have one. <laughs> Probably not. You might, you might, depend, yeah, you might, depending on, depending on some things, you might have it, so you, you might not. Right, anyway, your shift starts on, on 12. Sounds good, I'll be there, anything you need to know. Have your papers, just bring your ID. And just, Josh told me, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Right, this is probably important. Um, do you know if this, um, if this music is uncopyrighted? It said it was uh, Creative Commons at the beginning. Creative Commons? Okay. There, anyways. Josh told me to draw this. What was that? Josh, making sure. Right. Josh told me the job is not news to you. Can I ask you one question? Sure. Right. Why did you pick the job initially? Not sure how to answer that. Just enjoy the thrill or the lack of it, I guess. I'm sorry, I just asked this question to everyone to join the line of work. People join looking for a gateway or to discover who they are only to leave without notice. Guess they're they're better off in a, in a cubicle. To be honest with you, I joined Iron Horse last year not knowing what to expect, but the solitary life has grown on me. For me, I can't do city life. This is where I belong. And I'm sure I'll at just fine to Iron Bar. Good, I hope you fare better than the last lady. Where can I park my van? So you're arriving on, on a Friday, just park your truck around back on the gravel park of, by gate D. Got it. From there you'll be on foot, take the Gold Tree Creek Trail, and there I'll take you, take you a couple hours until you reach your town. Okay, got it. You'll probably see Billy at the gate, just showing your ID. Now, this new regional manager is such a jerk. Honestly, sometimes I wish I had a job like you. Waking up with nature, away from people, and just getting paid to watch the one go by. Wish my job was really that easy, kid. Honestly, don't lose job, pretty sure it's only your next session. <laughs> like I said, you're always welcome here. Let me know if you need, you need to talk to Josh. It's definitely the time for a change. Speaking of change, Ironbark Fire Department. Oh. Ironbark. They are staffing me to Ironbark next month, the one after Roseburg. Yeah, I heard they got bigger staff cabins, less campers. Call me. With, with Dad, I'll call you back. How's it looking? So on my way, Van decided to pull a flat tire on me today of all, out of all days, it's late. Then I'll starve to death before arriving, I'll be fine. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No, why? So I apparently have a tire, a flat tire. Or it got taken care of already. You are the flat tire. It helps brought my mind to keep the memories at bay. I had to move my monitor so I could read the text. Because my fucking microphone's blocking it. Rip. So my face turn around may look... I have to do it. I have to do it. Oh, ah! I should have taken it easy. <laughs> There's nothing even there. What did I get hit by? Okay, so they got rid of the glitch. 
I always loved the great outdoors. <laughs> <laughs> Just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. <laughs> Are we just gonna ignore that I just did that? I felt like I was yes. at home in the woods. Ugh. Work over. Uh, you know what? I there's a diner while passing Rosebury. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. I could really use a good meal before staffing starts. Thanks, Kay. So bright, make my eyes hurt. Why are you texting a whole bunch to him? Or to the character, I guess we don't know the gender of the character, if I remember. Why are you texting them while you know they're on the road? It's probably around here. Oh, Jesus, lag. So there's Rosebird. Yeah, I gotta find the damn diner. That's all the diner Kayla was talking about. Alright, time to do a perfect part job. <laughs> like I said, perfect part job. I just slammed right into the building. And park. You're gonna get your ass ticketed. Yeah, cause like I worked in that area. Gods. Oh gods. Hello, lady. Oh, you're such a bad oh. <laughs> Welcome to Twin. Tin. Oh. Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Oh god. You're free to take any seat you like, and I'll be right with you. What? Are they trying to, like, remind people of Twin Peaks or whatever the hell it was? Oh my gosh, there's multiple music. Oh yeah, it's a jukebox. Oh wait, no, it just cycles through some music. Oh, I'll sit right here. I, I sat on that side, not here. What the fuck? Too bad. Good evening. I am Barbara. Are you ready to, for your ready to order? Yes. So what can I get for you today? Cheeseburger, fries, grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings, meatball sub with chicken nuggets. Um, I don't like grilled cheese. I don't like cheese my burger, so I'll go with meatball sub. Why is there no vegan options? This is an outrage. <laughs> Very well. Would you like to, anything to drink? Large Coke, coffee, strawberry slush, uh, Coke is closest enough to dark peppers of Coke. Perfect. Huh? Anything else? That'll be all, thank you. That's it. That's it. What is the no option? <laughs> oh, wait. Never mind. I thought I... God damn it. I was thinking no was yes. Great. I'll bring the food out, out as soon as it's done. <laughs> Just so I know if you need oh anything else. God. I thought that oh this two-letter word that means negative <laughs> was the three-letter word with no letters in common that uh -huh. means affirmative. Oh my god. How are you this dumb? Do I have to stand to do this game for my model to react? It's Virginia. Hey, not everyone in Virginia is fucking stupid. Oh, so just you then. Fuck you. <laughs> well, I want to see if I stand so up. Will it actually pick up on me? Well, to be fair, you wouldn't be the only one. But... But you... Right? You you can't you can't give people that kind of like ammunition. <laughs> there we go. Hold on. All right. I really had to be. <laughs> Let's see. 
was about to say, is this... Has this game just fucking randomly turned into a... Sitting at the diner simulator? This is actually, I think, the longest one. Kind of nice. And... I really had to pee. And we can't even see <laughs> ourselves. Oh! Okay, we're obviously a dude. <laughs> no, well, you, no. You could be a trans woman. We're true, that's true. We could be that. You're also a vampire. Oh, you could also, you could also just, just have. Actually, no. You're looking down at it. You would, yeah. Vampire. Vampire versus Bigfoot, who will win? Damn it, I was just gonna loot through the trash to see if I can find any needles. Am I supposed to be- That guy is frantically drinking that coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why? Why is he doing that? <laughs> Sir, I'm pretty sure that's an empty cup <laughs> by now. <laughs> it's drinks labeled huge swig. Oh my god. Consuming. I figured it would be a while before I, I hit a meal like this again. <laughs> I love how we're also hearing me eat. <laughs> you're hearing... Oh no, no, no. You're, you're hearing a ghost consume, eat, eating your own food. <laughs> so, Jade, I'm coming. How was it? I'm here still eating. This is good. I'm consuming a drink. <laughs> Consume. Oh, no. Please. Okay, it would be so funny if the drink just disappears. Yeah, oh you just God. eat you just eat the entire cup. I told you, Harry. Oh this food reminds me you should send me that casserole recipe you're talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine in the new lookout. But well, fuck you, lady! Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Do you like to have anything else, or should I get you to check check this? Okay, I'll be right back. Thanks. Who are you saying fuck you to, right? Because I was reading in text messages. They got... I know what, anyway. I might get my chance to immerse myself in the, the art of cuisine in a new lookout. Wow, yes. On my way home, send you in a bit. Right, listen. Yes. They're an underpaid server. At a tiny diner. You shouldn't be rude to them. Yeah, which is why I'm going to be paid 50% tip. 50% tip. <laughs> tip. <laughs> and that was all of that? It was only six dollars? Well, so it was nine bucks with the tip. Yeah, that, Jesus Christ. What? How do they make the food here? Is it right. just like fucking reshaped paper that they bought from the dollar store? <laughs> Thanks for the How do you stick. know? That would, that'd be, no, 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 that, that'd be, that'd be, less, that'd be, uh, less expensive. And that'd probably be only, like, three bucks. Yeah. Also, can Bro. I help you, lady? You're just standing there. <laughs> um... <laughs> and she goes away. <laughs> It's and you just stare at standing right there! <laughs> it's the Twin Peaks... Right? It's the Twin Peaks thing. Oh. Twin Peaks? You look a little was lost. Twin Peaks or was it? Oh am I just remembering the wrong thing? Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't... I... I don't know what Twin Peaks is. The name of the restaurant, but uh, anyway. Uh, look at this guy's no, face. No, that's not the name of the restaurant. That's yeah. the name of, like, a TV... If I remember correctly, it's a, that's the name of, like, either, either a TV show or a movie. Um, then I didn't um, watch yeah. it. This time. Yeah, this I, man. I, I, I got... 
I got that. But so it's basically a like thing where it's like there's this weird town that I think bad stuff happens in or something. Where it's like a creepy atmosphere. <laughs> It's like a creepy, weird atmosphere, yeah. Hey, Chu. Hi, hey, yeah, Chu. Hi, Chu. Anyway, this place has some great coffee if you're in the mood for one. As you can see, I usually go for the vanilla latte. So where are you um, heading? I, I, well, right, I don't have Hi, Chu. I wish I had, I did, but... <laughs> Wait, what? I was yeah, making a joke working. based off of ah. you saying hi to you. Uh, <laughs> so where are you headed? Starting my new job at the nearby state park. That's none of your business. I could be a dick. <laughs> it's not a dick to it's not a dick move to tell someone that you don't need to not give personal info to someone. True. Yeah. It was absurdly quiet for me. Ah, that's great. I didn't know these jobs still existed in Q2. I work in finance and financial analysis for a big firm downtown. That's interesting. Yeah, it's pretty challenging, but I enjoy it. It keeps me busy, that's for sure. Impressive? Yeah, I guess so. I can be a bit of a roller coaster sometimes, but I don't hate what I do. Now go <laughs> drink in your infinite coffee. What is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> He's having a rousing debate with his burger. <laughs> Long day of driving, huh? Where are you headed? Head up north to make a delivery. What about you? I'm a staff at North uh, Amber City Park. So is it true? Whatever they say happened to those kids the other day? What? I need to go. They went to the Five Nights at Freddy's diner. Average leftist food interaction just starts debating your food. Look, he's eating nothing and getting happy by it. <laughs> it's a sad day when we're criticizing people for happiness. <laughs> Please leave me alone. <laughs> he heard me. To be fair, you kind of are just standing over him when he's trying to eat. Also, you like my park Hello. job? I've seen worse parking from you. Oh no, I literally crashed into the building and backed up. Did you hit anyone? No. <laughs> well then, that, mean that means no bonus points for you. Okay. So bright, make my eyes hurt. I wanna talk, but I really can't fight her. Her attitude is so crazy. She's always acting like it's me. Maybe she's right. I'm guessing. Oh, shit. I wasn't very proud of my drawing. Oh, okay. Good oh, boy. Yes. And. Ugh, it's so okay. Bray, did you get anything to eat already? An achievement for this? No. <laughs> no, anything to eat. Yeah, dining. we did. Yeah, uh, meatball okay. sub and chicken nuggets. <laughs> The correct choice. Yeah. Oh, anyway, I'm gonna drive on the wrong side of the road. What in the Why? 8:02 p.m. Wait, I'm Brett now. It would have been so funny if the like game was like, you now, you died. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why did I just to stop? It? You didn't. You just decided to stop in the middle of the dark road. No, I tried pushing reason. forward and it wouldn't let me. Ah, uh, wish I could say that because you're supposed to just drive. And there it goes. I had Eric and it just slowly stopped. Maybe because I was driving along the side of the road. No. I wanted to include the location of, the, of this park. 
but I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. It's basically, this didn't happen, and I don't want to be fact-checked. Got it. There we go. I wasn't very proud of my driving. <laughs> yeah! I parked right oh, in the front of the sign. No, you park right in front of the sign where you're not supposed to park. Yes. Here, let's go visit this house. That is not a house. That is an office for the park. Uh, well, I don't need my car anymore. Jesus fucking Christ. What's the cheapest fucking scare? <laughs> Alright, window. But, what? Uh, while you're talking, watch the window behind him. Okay. Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. One of who? May Lord have mercy. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? Oh, you're Billy, right? On a new transfer fire lookout. Is that correct? I, I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on, let me check on that. Oh, well, that was normal. What? Or somebody walking, you could have, like, just... You could have, like, not clicked it and watched. Things okay, happening. pal, you're good to go. You're stacked at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season, at, but here are your keys. Take keys. Let me open the trail gate for you. I didn't see anything. What happened? Um, Aderna already told you what happened. Oh. Oh my god. Right. And she explicitly told you to pay attention to where you need to pay attention. Oh my god. God. Since you're arriving this late, okay, I need to turn my light off because it's hard to see it, see on my screen. There we go. Since you're already arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike on your lookout. Just be careful. Take this. Bright, I think you're starting to come down with a serious streamer-related condition known as severe tunnel vision. Shut up. <laughs> Welcome to Ironbark, pal. So, so, Bright's having the the severe issue that she already has every day. Yeah. Oh, every time you. she plays. You know what, just because you said that, let me give me a moment. <laughs> yeah, Book says she hasn't already had that. <laughs> Also, Bright, I dare you to play this with the lights off. Alright, time to drink something I shouldn't. Wait, what? Drinking a, a Skittles energy drink. I don't Why? know. Why? Even though my doctor yeah, my says I'm not allowed to drink those because narcolepsy. Don't drink it! This is delicious. Right? I'm not involved right. with this. I have my own problems. <laughs> Okay. One sec, one sec, one sec. All I'll say is, um, I wish you the best of luck. That's yeah. all I've got. Also, should you just see my DM? You are really gone. For real. Yes, Bray, and I can't take care of that right now. That's fair. I'm technically already working, and I've been working. That's fair. Until like three in the morning. So Jesus that's Christ not on my you. priorities list. Are, are you okay, Chill? That depends. Does college tend to make you okay? No. Well, there you go. <laughs> Anyways. Right, why are you... Why are you drinking something that your doctor explicitly told you you shouldn't drink? I'm immortal. Because he's a dumbass. <sighs> like, whatever fucking singer said this, what doesn't kill me makes me stronger. Right. No, sometimes what doesn't kill you just makes you suffer. And also, right, you're, like, 
right. right. You're, not, they... you're not a Saiyan, they... right? <laughs> right, just, you know? Um, this could actually, like, hit, like, lead to your death. That's the thing. Uh... That's fine. <laughs> Anyways. Like, now... if, oh. if a doctor tells you not to drink something, specifically because it messes with something in your life, don't do it. Okay. Book, book says, did your doctor tell you what conditions could be worsened by the energy drinks? Uh, it, it said that it could, like, after the energy drink wears off, uh, the narcoleptic symptoms could get worse. So, so I'll then, just be more tired. But, yeah, that could also mean that you would also, your, like, symptoms overall would get worse. So that would mean every single day you would be more tired, so you wouldn't be able to drive as much. You wouldn't be able to do a lot of stuff as much. Yeah. Right. Anyways. Think before you do shit. Thinking is hard. <laughs> Thank you, Chu. Anyways. Now for our purposes. When, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first we weather report from your system. Just so we know you... you clocked in safely. Were you about to say we there? No. If if you need be, you can reach out to Tower Twelve during your staffing. Nice, nice enough guy. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Shut up, Jew. Oh, flashlight. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna throw it away from him, but he... Hey. He's got I his... seriously... What? I seriously misheard what you said. What? You said, shut up, Chew. And think about the oh, current dear. political climate. Oh my oh, dear. god! Hatchet! No! <laughs> Since when did Bright turn into Eric Cartman? <laughs> <laughs> my brain... My... My brain did not read that correctly. <laughs> Dear God. Anyways, just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. Kitty. Got it. Now I gotta figure out where my flashlight is. Oh, there it is. I did not you know mean what to throw it at him. <laughs> you know what, Book? Just because you redeemed that, I'm gonna go check my Twitter. What did he redeem? <laughs> Don't that Twitter. Oh, some missing people. There's an area that's closed. Place some trails. Switch for shortcutting. Destroys the vegetation. Please don't litter. Please pack out all trash. You didn't. You don't burn. Don't bury trash. Animals will dig it up. Wait. Oh, so bright. Can... Did you just not want to take your bag of stuff with you? Oh wait, there's a bag of stuff. In your RV. Yes. Did you? No, no, bright. Did you think uh... you came here with nothing? You came in the middle of woods with nothing. Yes. Also, you left the door wide open to your car. Very so, wise. Presidential cliffhanger awaits Florida recount. This takes place during the election of George Bush and Al Gore. Oh. Shit. Right, quick, go vote for Al Gore. <laughs> And you're just gonna leave your car oh, wide open. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Someone else right. can have my car. You. <laughs> Dumbass. You're like the people that I've met who unironically do not lock their doors. 
both to the front of their house and to their cars, and then wonder why they get broken into. Hey, don't worry, Chill. I do it because I'm white. Well, I'm glad you said it before I did. <laughs> <laughs> what should we going off of with that statement? Is it because of a general level of privilege that insulates you from the consequences of your actions? Or is it just because you're fucking stupid? Both. Oh. It was a long hike and it was a law. I missed it. Also, Bri, I would recommend just every once in a while looking into the trees around you. That's I feel like that's what everyone, regardless of race or gender, should do. Oh, let's see. If not, oh, yeah. If nothing, just to appreciate the scenery. What scenery? It's oh, dark. Obviously, we go down a lacy trail. Ooh, something gets you. Hey, you know what? Fuck it. We're going down a lacy trail now. Oh, oh bears. bears! An area. It's fine. I got a flashlight. Did you bring Pray, your bear that... spray? Pray, oh. That will scare away a bear. I can't. There's a barrier. Oh. <laughs> There's just an invisible barrier. Okay. A barrier. Damn those invisible walls. Well, because I actually have to do my job. Now, what would be you funny? Get caught on a barrier. Okay. What was that? Now what would be funny? What? Now what would be funny what? would be if a bear came up right behind you as you were walking away. Yeah. <laughs> Once you're at the top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. Your lies bright, rip, mugged by bear. You know, this is actually reminding me of a, of a game that I, that I enjoyed playing called Firewatch. Final is in my new home the next few months. I don't think I ever do streamed you, it. Do you I copy? Feel like... Yeah, I was gonna oh, say yeah, you, you mentioned copy as well. Right, I swear to God, if you don't turn the lights on. Why? Well, it's fine. I forgot to turn the generator on first. <laughs> I had to go all the way down. Damn. Uh, that's just life. Disappointment. Oh yeah, here's my bathroom by the way, Hatchet. It's prestige and rich and luxurious. What do you think about it? That's where we that's what we should place. Like again, you know there's there's that new story about uh the home of the, the bad Austrian painter that's mm -hmm. being turned into a police office, it should actually just be torn down and and put that bathroom in its place. <laughs> hey, an innocent... Right, I saw an innocent shed. What? An innocent shed? Yes, so. The one with the light right in front of it. The very bright light. One of the few lights in this area. What about it? There could be stuff in here. Like a, like a pair of binoculars and a f spare flashlight. And bear spray. My hands are full. Oh, full. oh I can't. I have my bag of stuff. <laughs> Even... You went up there. Didn't set down your bag of shit. Dude. Rented back down. Uh. Oh, there's the other tower. Fancy. The beacons are lit. Gondor <laughs> calls for aid. It jumped off right after you got that, like, last one. I now have gas. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> right! What the fuck are you- no. I'm gonna do what I did as a child! <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? Bright, why? You <laughs> are the- the gasoline look like pee? <laughs> right. Bright, look, matches. Wait, is there actually matches? Yes. Bright, Tunnel vision. You... Holy Bright. fuck. Bright, you are the fireman. What are you doing? 
<laughs> it's not lighting up. I don't think that's how I... gasoline works. I don't even think that wasn't actually gas. I think that was actually just piss. <laughs> oh no, it it is it is gasoline. Hmm. Well, oh, that's just... useless to me. All right. In that case, just take your binoculars. A wind windometer. Hold on, I know what to that's, do. Hold on, let me give me all this just shit. Just throw it into the piss. You're throwing everything into the piss. Hold on, you all understand what I'm doing. Right, you do know how to use a compass, right? Yes. What the fuck are you doing? Well, I'm there was a big there. pause before you said yes. <laughs> Why? Uh, stop pissing on your stuff. I'm marking my tail. <laughs> oh. I'm starting to wish I had just noped out earlier. Man, shut the fuck up. What's wrong with oh, me marking my territory? Right. Bruh. Alright, there's something interesting you can see with the binoculars. I just have to try to remember what you do it. And binoculars. Where. Wait. Okay. Walk towards the corner where the other tower is. And then look down towards the trail that you came up. Down. Left. I meant actually look up, right? There's gonna be something creepy along with the trees on the ground. Oh wait, this may not be the right corner. It'll come back to me. All right, just go back inside, but You're right there is here. gonna be a nice little... S oh wait, there it is. Okay, so along the trail to where you came in. So from there to the right, uh, over here. Right. Do you not know which way is right? Oh, it's right here. Down there. Down there. Alright, go up a little bit. Hey, around there, the event might just not be triggered yet. You might have to wait. Okay. But soon. I'm gonna turn this off. Fuck that flashlight. I don't need a flashlight. Oh. Rio, I was sitting on a wooden table. Bookworm, why did you type compass? Oh my god. Hey, yeah. so now, now we have to bunk Bookworm as well. Oh, I was about to type, see if I can type something. I'll see you are about to write um, Wait. Thank you were you. about to write cum piss, weren't you? No. Oh. Iron bark rules flyer. I was gonna write <laughs> penis. Right, not everyone is has the humor of a seventh grader, okay? They're not gonna make that their password. System password is iron bark tower number. Oh well that's easy. That's the tower oh number! Oh my god. Oh my god. Iron belt. No, 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 no. No one help. Nobody help. If Bright uh. doesn't know how to log into a computer, <laughs> then honestly, I hope the bad guys win in this story. We're gonna let Bright figure out how to log into a computer. Everyone ready to watch Natural Selection? Isn't that always what happens when we watch Bright? I mean, yeah, but this time it's extra pronounced. <laughs> Oop. Damn it. What the fuck did you try? Tower 11. I don't understand. 
I don't the tower but you'll figure in. it out. Just keep trying. I believe in you. Right. Everybody, everybody, love. We're oh, gonna be here a God, while. It's so fucking easy. Everyone, love. So fucking easy. It's so fucking easy. It's hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so fucking confused. Read, motherfucker. Read and pay more to fucking attention. System powers to iron bar tower number. This is tower 11. Yes. No, no, Adana, you're Girl, helping. What the... uh... I'm only helping because she's a... I know she's it's excruciating. I know it's excruciating and IQ draining. Oh, but wait a minute. It's still fun. I did it. Fucking finally. What the hell finally. was it? Holy Iron Bark 11. <laughs> Yeah, if it's Iron Bark 11, it literally said. Why wouldn't you try putting in that before now? Shut up. Hello there, it's Smiley, your trusted virtual assistant. Help, you she help. didn't, like, have me to tell her to actually Clippy. pay attention. Kill it. Also, Bright, make sure you watch your training video in its own right. right. Kill the Clippy clone. Yeah. Yeah, hey, nice to Clippy. <laughs> no. You, you make the mouse of your computer today. Clickety click. Here's a random fact for you. Mount Everest, the world tall world's tallest mountain, continues to grow about a quarter of an inch. Taller each year due to tectonic plate movements. Cool. Employee training. Click -click -click. Trust me, it's worth it. Here's a random fact for you. Honey never spoils. Archaeologists have found pots of honey in ancient Egypt tombs that are over 3,000 years old and are still perfectly edible. Did you really mispronounce the word Egyptian? Shut up. <laughs> Get a kitty kitty. Um... Here's a random fact for you. The Grand Canyon in the United States is not only breathtaking, but also incredibly old. It's estimated to be around 6 million years old. Who wouldn't know that it's old? <laughs> Good evening, Tower 11. How's your day going? Am I supposed to click through all these? No, I... Bright, you're not listening to the words coming out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if this is like infinite or right? not. Use your right. ears. Use your right? listening ears. Right? You, yes. You, you, right? You do know that, um... Well, okay. One, I feel like this thing should be telling you, like, information about the place you're in. But, also, yes, do the training. Meh. Welcome to Ironbark State Park. Oh, dear God. If you're watching this oh, video, oh, then oh. let me be the first to say... Congratulations! You have been commissioned by the Ironbark decision. Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks speaker? in the state of Washington. Established oh in 1897, God. we've been known as one of the safest the guy, parks in America. Yes, we yeah, hope yeah. you can keep it that way for many years to come. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You've been selected as one of our Fire Lookout Observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. When Keep watch for fire! Playing. He was Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time, so, it just so I'll also keep watch for smoke. Normal Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be <laughs> crucial information. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. I'm gonna drink and drive. <laughs> Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require us to note science. all changes in temperature. We think it's best he not to science. get into a lawsuit. 
keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. Okay, I actually turn it down here. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. Yeah, sure. The campers might start a campfire which could lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Make sure to note whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. Mostly. <laughs> we hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. What kind of lame ass motto Wait, is pee -pee that? Pee pee poo poo. There was a thing called pee pee poo poo, <laughs> and I got an achievement top of the morning. Oh my god. Oh my god. There yeah. was apparently a character at some point in there called pee pee poo poo. <laughs> it was probably it was probably that character that kept popping up. Plant interview. And we are back. So how do you feel about being a plant? Do you moisturize? Fascinating. <laughs> what do you do for a living? Right, you are gonna want to turn the sound up because trust me, it does get yeah. funny towards the end. How does that work? Wow. Everyone's been wondering, how's the marriage with the wife? <laughs> I'm waiting for it. <laughs> sir, sir, there's no need for that language. <laughs> sir, calm down. What did you just say? It's Nobody just talks to me to get on my show. <laughs> what the f did you just say? Get over here, you piece of sh. Technical difficulties, please stand by. <laughs> what the fuck was that? You got to work. And all you're doing is looking at awful videos. No, tr uh, Hi, trust everyone. me. All of Ron this Ron. is fun. Oh, I'm here to paint with you. Yes. Today, I got some cool paint. This is something called a There is oh, another VTuber as well. Just take me of my green. Life. I love my wife. Anyways, that's a alarm. Water. There. Aww. Also, I, I sincerely Oops. hope that none brush. of you had anything to drink or save that for smoke ah, prior to watching this. Brush. This brush is really great for painting in those details. I think I'll put a little tree here. This is where I buried the bodies. Um. It would look good here. A nice, happy cabin right there. Reminds me of when I had an affair with my wife, uh, with a squirrel. <laughs> Enough about me. It's, no, it's a fan it's mail. A, stop. We have to Sent watch all the things. Guys. Trust me, nothing bad's going to happen. Fiction if I go. notice. Fiction. <laughs> Forget the fan mail. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Okay, so that, that, was, that might be a clue, possibly? I don't know. Sir, so this is a training, flash animation. The training video was where your literal instructions, whether you were paying attention, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I yes, guess I we'll wait and see what Charles, what Charles Darwin has to say. Also, this one is just really pretty. Oh, a warning for flashing lights from time to time. Just telling you. Trust me, this is really good. Mm 
need can be used. I was thinking too. Oh, yeah, this is the flashing light part, so just cover your eyes or look away. Okay, it's over. I was hoping, hoping one of these would either be Markiplier. That's MP4. No, it, my Markiplier has been busy. He's making a movie. True. I'm That's sorry, why... what? Yeah, he's making he's an Iron Lung no... movie. You didn't... You didn't know, Hatchet? No. What? That, that's, that's why what... I said it was funny how Iron Lung added a cheat mode where it's it's called Mark. That's why... That's also why Markiplier isn't in the FNAF movie. Yeah. They... Like, they, they tried. They really tried to get him in there, but... It, it just couldn't work because of scheduling. Yep. Book says, I know you said this before, I just forgot. I guess I might have forgotten too. Anyway, let's play, play a game. Plague.exe. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, you have a full game within a game. Meta. Oh god, oh god. Also, aim for the head spray. Oh, it's a bit hard. You have terrible aim just like me. Like that? I feel like Bright has worse aim than you. Oh god. Have you seen me play Splatoon a during? I've got that left the same. This is broken. <laughs> also, you do, there is an achievement you can get. I can't remember what it is. I didn't miss them, they were like, what are you? Give me a sec, I'll be right back. I think, I think the achievement is that you have to get... No, it's not 50 points, because you have so many points. I think the achievement is that you have to get 50 headshots. So, uh... That's not gonna happen. Get blasting. Well, yeah, it's not gonna happen with that attitude. Oh, oh god, I didn't realize you were there. <laughs> Bitch. Is that all of them? What was that? Bitch. <laughs> I hear them, but I don't know where they are. Oh, Bitch. 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 Oh, I'm at the perfect health. I'm at 69. Oh, so you missed the path downstairs. Oh, there it is. I 
I just wall walked. Oh god. Are you coming up? No, they're getting stuck on the door. Might be behind you. No, they're just stuck on the door. <laughs> oh god, hi there. <laughs> we told you. Where did he come from? Take shot, take shot. Bitch. Welcome back, dude. Uh, um, sir? <laughs> sir? Where did, like, the rest of the zombies that are down here go? Oh. How did... Oh god, I'm stuck. Oh, he's dead. I am so right, there's another low. one behind you, right? No, there isn't. There's no zombies behind me. There's, there's one up that. here. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's more than one up here. Take shot. I just lead them out of there. Uh, they, they they are having issues. <gasps> oh god! Oh, what the fuck? One came behind me. Oh, there's more than one time. It's not fair. They can't teleport. Can you can? Get some fucking hell. Where the fuck did they go? Okay, so I may have found where they went. Bitch. I wish my hair would stop going in my goddamn face. That's a dope question. I don't want to lose after I killed so many. Oh god, hi there. Hi, how's it going? Come on, bitch. <gasps> Jesus fucking Christ, that scared the fuck out of me. Oh, I just turned around and just see fucker right there. Oh, don't do that to me. Oh, kill! Take shot! Take shot! I would look behind you every time after you kill somebody so you don't. Take shot! Well, it's still a zombie. I'm just wondering if I have to go anywhere. Sharp shooter. Don't know what that achievement was, but oh well. I need help.
bitch. I have a terrible shot. You know. This is why I don't play games like Apex that often. I am a terrible shot. Are you sure you can like it better? Ooh, more help. Oh, hi there. Fuck oh off! Thank you. Missed the door. Do I just keep going till I die? Oh god! Or is there an actual limit? I should actually chew that. He's not here. Yeah, I know. I saw them say, damn it, Discord in the chat. Uh. Oh, I somehow got a headshot, but I don't know how. Oh. Hey, Chu, is there a limit to the zombies, or is it just until I die? I don't it's, know it's, right? it's just until you die. Oh. I want to get to so a whenever thousand. Alright. Cool, bitch. Okay, I can't shoot from a far away distance. Oh, it's a shotgun. You have a specified range with a shotgun. If you couldn't get a headshot there, I would have been... That would have been hilarious. <laughs> oh, those don't explode. Yeah, okay. Go boom. Yes! No! I almost got a thousand. Oh, well. Alright, I guess I should do what I'm supposed to do. Wait, <laughs> first go look at the thing. Everything. Wait. I need this so I can see. Where 
ship, right? Yes. What? Never mind. Okay, there we go. I can see it now. It is 18 knots. I don't know if that's good or bad. Nah. Okay, so service reporting. Wind speed. 18. Uh, fuck you. You guy, I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? Uh, I'm Jack. I saw your light turn on. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower 11 alive again. Yeah, that's I've cool. had to cover your area until you arrived. I'm Connor, Fire Tower 12. All right. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? <laughs> I'm just like, looking for a change. I want to transfer from Iron Horse. An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. I'm really tired. You got a fire going? No. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Got it. Thanks. Well, first I gotta write fucking eighteen. I probably should, could have kept that up. Oh, fucking dumbass. The temperature... I can... Temperature it was 46 degrees. Okay, good. <laughs> I, I don't have to guess. <laughs> Welcome to the State of the Art Service, reporting software developed by the Ironbark HQ. Measure weather conditions with the right equipment and log accurate data to be sent to the HQ for evaluation. Numbers of hikers assisted. I mean, I first go, first go, wait, 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 first go to the weather cloud condition. Weather condition. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna look. Let's see. Um, I would still say it's cloudy. Uh, full disclosure, the weather portion of this can be very finicky and hard to yeah. figure out. So if it doesn't okay. come the first time it's not it's not on you for once oh okay okay also i would i would also do what Chu said at the beginning and do um and look at the like area uh fuck i don't remember everything was right here Wait, go back, go back to the left, left, down, down. Oh, that's just a tree branch. I, I wouldn't yeah. zoom is out. Is it supposed okay. to activate? Wait, go to that corner, the corner to your right. Oh, okay. Area. Yeah, try to look from there now. How far do you think she should zoom in? Um, she shouldn't have. To... Wait, back, go down. Wait, left. Oh, I thought I saw a shadow moving. You might but have yes. missed it. So, like later on, there is going to be something on the ground somewhere mm. I just don't remember exactly when Hikers assisted zero you haven't you haven't wait you haven't done it yet you haven't finished the night yet so yeah it's fine I can put it down to zero not help anybody let them all die. So I'm a... you're gonna fail your job then. Oh, I can't go down. So I can't even help people anyways. <laughs> now I was told to start a fire. 
to like keep myself warm. Yes, I that is specifically what fires are for. Okay, so I actually have to send this report. I wasn't sure if I put the right weather condition. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna that that's that's gonna Let happen. Me. Oh, oh it was clear. <laughs> Wait, does this show me his penis man? Yes it does. <laughs> penis man <laughs> But you're not a man though. Exactly. I do not see the joke. I'm too stupid. I'm just getting it was getting cold, okay? Yeah! All right? Yeah! What? Well. After firefighters try and compass size of a pizza. I could actually go for a pizza, but I don't have money to buy one, but oh well. I can always just eat the popcorn I bought. My favorite popcorn. Anyways, I'm gonna dump this in the sink. Oh my gosh, that does not look good. <laughs> I don't know where I'm supposed to put this. Oh, probably here. I don't see the smoke. Oh, well. Did you light it up yet? The wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. Right? What? There's no fire. No firewood. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley? The sapper who was in the lookout before you. She was one gritty woman. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin, but if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we know about the gasoline. Ooh. Oh wait, I, I need my flashlight. Dumbass. Hey, I'm not the brightest tool in the shed. We know. <laughs> the gasoline is still here. <laughs> Need to light it up. Just a... What? I'm doing nothing wrong. I thought that's the thing you mean. There. Now it's all nice and connected. It's not spreading. Uh, who did that? Cause I can't see like um war stuff for some reason. I'm assuming it's true. I can go check one sec. Did you report for the night yet? <laughs> Bullshit bookworm. Report the nightmare. The hook said I didn't create a fire. Did you report for the night yet? Yeah, Very well. Done. Anyways, I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. Tower 12, signing off. Yo.
have a good night, you guy. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Good night, Connor. Talk to you tomorrow. Alright, now to perfectly leave my door open and go to bed. Let's make sure the door is locked before I head to bed. Damn it! My flashlight is outside. Yeah. Three twenty six AM. Can I stop crouching? I know where the fuck did I place my flashlight? There it is. I did not place that there. Oh, my gasoline trail is gone. This night being out of the cabin gave me a strange feeling. Wait, 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 go, guy. Oh, wait, I need a binoculars. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing anything. See out. Not too much. I think I saw a little bit of movement. Oh well. Anyways. Yeah. Wow, I got a lot in me. Oh. Wait, it happens after you pee. No, not you. Nope. I guess I go to bed. I sleep with my flashlight. Ah, yes. Fun at Freddy's. It's just you and the wind and the time melts away. Sleep with a flashlight when you could have a flush. Oh my gosh, chill. Also, be sure to check your phone. Well, there's nothing here, but okay. It's time to do my job. Hey guy, you copy? This is Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? No. Tower 11, do you copy? Tell me that. Son of a bitch. Like Excuse Nobody me? bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Let me have a look. Okay, so north of my position. 
Oh, yep. I need you to confirm. Yes, indeed. I need to Do you see that smoke up north? Keep up that white smoke up. It appears yeah, to be see. in the lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. The fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? Yes. The uh, okay, heading north. I'll report back on it. Yes. Do you have any other uh, details? No additional information at the moment. Just follow Lazy Trail. Keep an eye out for any signs of a campfire or any potential hazards along the way. Okay, heading north. I'll report back. Stay on safe it. out there. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. Over and out. Fuck the compass. All right, time to get my. A uh, bear spray covered in gasoline. Bear spray. There's bear spray over here. Or there was bear spray. That was over here. <laughs> right, it's just a natural. Right, you didn't even need the compass. Right, it just is a natural, natural compass. Shut up, chew. And shush, bookworm. <laughs> Any baths? Eight thirty seven PM Hello I followed the trail led me to the smoke. Bells Anyone wanna Oh there's people here. No camping. Violators will be sighted and removed. Left gen sheet gives the best head. Oh really now? I'm interested. Okay, let me see this. Uh, sorry, just got home. All this. You will not believe how easy this one is to put together. Did you reach yet? Sneak fix when you do. Jack, are you okay? Hope everything's okay. Reply back when you see this. Sorry, Kay. Didn't think my sector was was very good service. Beautiful tower, and thanks for the recipe. I might I might try it tonight. I had to put it out. Oh, that's a knife. The real question is how? Oh, I see. I had to get water to put it out. God damn it! Oh, there's literal water right here. Wait, what's going on being too oblivious? Did you just not hear that? Hear what? I'm confused. Where they went. Turn out what truck to you. Why is anyone in here? Now what? Is this ghost monitor shit? Who's there? Anybody there? bear maze. I will mace you. Your bond this site was closed. So? Yep. 
guess I just leave? Another close sign and look forward. Harry Potter, that site was closed. Can't take their binoculars. Probably should have brought binoculars. We can't do anything. How'd you just not hear the giant scream as you walked in? Shut up. I guess I just leave. That is moving on its own. I don't know if she might not talk here. Which I means I'm disappointed because th it, this person gives lovely head and I wanted to try it out. That was just a glitch. Oh. As I hike back my tower through the dark. I can't make sense of something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. Oh god, the game's crashing. Oh god. No. 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 Now the game's seriously crashing. No, no. Wait for program to respawn. Why are you crashing? There we go. Tower 12, do you copy? Hey, Connor, you copy? Guy. I was just cooking myself some hot... Well, first, what's your status? Are you yes. kidding me? You son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? I'm mean? sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this happened a lot? the third time this month alone. Anything else you notice in those woods? Mention screen. <laughs> Kids went missing that area? About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. What does that have to do about what happened to the kids? We don't know. Their parents said some whistle let them off the trail. It's unbelievable. People have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11 urgently. That's you guys, I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? Oh, absolutely not. Great. Over and out. 
Well, time to make myself some dinner. Okay, so I need uncooked pasta. What? I'm so jolly of that view. By the way, look what I got home, home to. Mom made the same casserole recipe today. Nom nom. <laughs> Like in that funnel makes my stomach growl. As a matter of fact, let me try that recipe now. So, uncooked pasta. Okay, I need a pan. Ah, there. Uncooked pasta. Marinara sauce. Where's my marinara sauce? Bucks more marinara sauce. Got my pasta. Feeling that I was still missing something. Yeah, I know. Over time. Oh, hi, Hatchet. How much did I miss? Nothing really. Uh, also, Chu says, I dare you to look up red box screen. Oh, that's where okay. stuff is. There's a lot of fish. And none of them is the fucking marinara. having trouble finding food. Well, maybe. Oh, god damn it. Like, I thought all the food would be here, but no, this is just all fucking fish. Why is there so much fish? Oh, time to save us down here. Obviously, you keep food in the shed. Uh, no, it's not here. By the way, in case you didn't notice, I redeemed no cursing. Oh, I can't see that stuff, so, okay. When? When I got back. Oh, okay. It's been at most, like, two or three minutes, I think. Okay. And I still don't see no perv alarm. I'm still thinking about it. Hmm. Still not finding out. Oh. Still thinking about it in the same way Biden's still thinking about Medicare for all. Hush. <laughs> like, what? Uh, oh, those are diced tomatoes, not marinara. This does not look appetizing. Uh, pepperoni, mozzarella well, cheese. Well, it's got a baked dummy. This is baked beans. Why would I put baked beans on that? Why wouldn't you put baked beans on that? Mozzarella. Which means now all I need is pepperoni. No translation found. <laughs> the meat. 
I think I found the bug. I am like 99% sure that they just took a rip of an actual product and just blur, like, and just cut out the logo for the company. Two is concerned for me. Because it took me super long to, the, the, the check inside the refrigerator for food. It was like, oh. Oh. reported their ass to the authorities. Oh, what Don't they say? worry. Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. That's what they can track them down and give them peace of mind. We'll keep an eye on things from here. You stay vigilant for such smoke moving forward. See, I chose. Just get into it. They just didn't sound to be in a very good mood today. You got it. Show you what. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Thank you, Connor. Go over 12, signing off. Over and out. Over and out. Go check now, and it's still cool. Okay, so that means I need to drive. He literally just told you that you need to sign in for the day. It's 21. <coughs> or is this how you sign in for the day? That is, that is it, yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was just like a fucking punch card thing. Nope. Temperature is 49.2. Numbers hiker assisted, zero. Alright, let's check the weed. I mean, that's. Hmm. Pretty cloudy. Yeah, pretty cloudy. Oh, yeah, Chu said the weather is finicky. And if you get it wrong, it, it'll, it'll just not go through. Uh. Now listen, I know clouds. I think those are clouds. Okay, I'll accept it. Let's see, where am I? Ah, uh, there I am. <laughs> He says Wait, you're gonna burn that clear? food. Wait, why does it say clear? What the fuck is that cloudy? What the fuck? I like eating it in bed. So do I. You're gonna- That is a lot of food. So? Also, like my door's is... wide open. <laughs> <laughs> Bigfoot just fucking sprints up. I love That's having a mukbang right now because you get to hear me chew every single bite. Oh, bro. Oh, God. You don't want to have to go somewhere to get food very often. Like, that's at least three or four meals there. I'm already full. Oh, so you just ate half of the fucking pan. It's even gonna. You need to cover it up. Yeah, also, look at all the food right here. It's supposed to be in a refrigerator. Oh, my God. God, you are awful. <laughs> I was getting cold. I thought I'd get wood to shove it. The stuff it lit. <laughs> Probably get wood to shove it. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I don't need a flashlight. I don't see why a flashlight would ever save my life. I 
but apparently I hatchet I miss the screams. Oh no. Yeah, it was the bite of eighty seven. Damn. Right. Why? It's not gonna work. I don't care. I always close the boards outside before heading to bed. What boards? What force are you talking about? Let's get back. Like, close the force outside, outside before going to bed. What? What boards? I'm confused. Does anyone moving? Is unrightly giving me motion sickness? Oh, I'm sorry too. I am so confused. What boards? Outside, but I don't know what it's talking about. I still want to hope that all these new subs are like oh. genuinely right. from something happened. That... I clicked something. Right. Oh. Those are I the want... boards. <laughs> I want to hope that all of these new subs are genuinely from uh that streamer you uh collabed with yesterday because i'm not anyone yesterday remember no i mean like you know what i mean like you were over on someone else's channel yeah And, and specifically, you're on the channel of someone significantly bigger than you. Mm-hmm. Right, you didn't turn off the lights. Who cares about the lights? 2.27 a.m. I was awoken by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. What? Oh. I saw that. Didn't see the what? I want to be a white person and be stupid. Huh? Jesus! Jesus. <laughs> okay, we scared both me and Hatchet. <laughs> Wait, do I have to start from the beginning? Yeah, probably. Quiet moment. Oh, you can go to episodes. Oh. Amber, look out. You might have to oh, something beginning. strange. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, it scared both me and Hatchet. Half of it was the fucking sound. Yeah. I find it really lame when, like, you get startled by a sound in this. 
and said sound isn't actually within the it's just like sudden orchestral fit It doesn't actually genuinely make me scared, it just pisses me off. Like... <laughs> that doesn't work. Oh, hi, Nami. Hey, Nami. Obviously, I need to somehow call the cops, but I don't know how to call the cops. Do you have a cell phone? Yeah, but I have to go outside for service. There's no service within the tower. But we know what happens when we go outside. You have to be out? Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, see? No service. question this is presumably taking place in what florida i don't know like well there was a florida newspaper so it's probably in the states right why do you not have a gun the available command uh checks for ankle on six month thing her person installs or check Close exit. Close the console. Okay. There's nothing in a bin. Like, I refuse to believe, like, foresters that are hanging out out here don't keep a side of them. Load up park ranger. Need a gun. Gonna kill the animals. I mean, quite literally for self-defense, yeah. Okay, now I don't know what to do. If I open that door, I'm going to die. There. But I don't. But I know if I open it, I'm going to die. What if you try it? Just been walking around in the dark this whole time for no reason. Yeah, I was right. I swear, I know if I open that door, I'm going to die. I think you're cutting out, Adana. Oh, I was just saying, try it. Oh, try it. Try it, try it. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what to make of it at this moment. He just came to oh, leave you a little... I think it was a, 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 he came to leave you a souvenir. Connor, says you you're copy? Thinking things. Yeah. I need to talk to you. It's urgent. Well? Do you have any idea what time it is? There's something outside my door. What if this is not a prank? No. Serious, you don't understand, do you? Connor didn't make any sense. Look at that. So there's not much else I, I, I could have done in the dark. Well, wait, right at first, I would like check the right first. RB to hide. 
Oh no. Wait, the game's not connected to my microphone. It can't connect to my microphone. Yes, I forgot to connect it to my microphone. Ah, fuck you. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Turn the mic on, coward. There's two. And I, I agree. Can't. Do I just mean stay here? You could go to sleep? You could also go check. Right, wait, wait, wait. Also, you could also go check the door. So, like, not like open the door, but like. No one there. Who says you're a streamer? Check the game settings. The, the, I can't check the game settings while within here. Because escape opens up the, the phone. Next day I woke up not being sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids. But there's something about that night that just felt darker. There is something strange happening in those woods. I think there's a squatch in these woods. What is wrong with my binoculars? Most of the days with the sun is in around the tower. Hey, you, you can clean them. Oh. How did it get dirty? I barely even used them. I'm assuming there was a time skip. Hence why it's suddenly fucking late evening again. I would go, yeah, I would go check out that place. She might look like they need... Hello? Is anyone there? I need help! Please, someone answer! No, you're on your own. You should urge me to close the door before sitting down. I don't feel comfortable facing my back into an open door. This is Jack, Tom oh, Evan. Thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost, and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. What's going I, on? I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time, and, and now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think I think I'm lost. Where's your current location? I, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. I thought shooting a few flare gunshots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. You don't remember any landmarks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. What direction are you facing right now? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I see it. Where is I'm at a trail it? intersection now, but I can't there. remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Let me scan him out and get back to you. Right, I'm at the trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or left to get back to the trailhead. Wait. If... Okay, so where are they? They're near a river. Logan Pass Trailhead, which is over here. Uh, hello? Uh, are both of these trails seem pretty similar? Uh, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake and going further away from the road. Please help. Give me a moment. Okay. Right, they're panicking. Keep your cool. Right. Yeah. Okay, I can't. Okay, so they went down this way. So. That, I don't, I believe the way they're going, it would be right. Let me see, let me see. Wait. Because they said they're going down a river, so it'll be around this way. So that means it'll be towards the right. To the trailhead. Like over here. Who does loaf? 
I'm gonna go uh, right. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I'm going to be honest. I had my suspicions on the left trail, but if you say so, right one it is. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. Any decisions in the dark be challenging. I'm right here! What do you mean? I hear you! I hear your whistles. That's not Wh me. What? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not me. You're freaking me out. Well, he's dead. Knock, knock, motherfucker. Open up bright. No. Do it bright. I ain't, no one's home. Fuck off. They just came to trick or treat. Oh, wait, that's another. Damn it. Clearly nothing's going to happen if you just sit here. Oops. Right, right, turn off the lights. I would just... Yeah. You can't pull that trick here. Oh, so I have to die? You can't have to... pull what trick? You know that. You know what, yes. Oh, I have to die. Or do something else. Holy... Oh, holy moly, what took you so long in there? Uh, I've been knocking for hours. I was about to ask to check in on you. What? Where are you up to, pal? I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour, may the Lord be merciful. Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Here we go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. Click supplies. <laughs> she says you died. Congrats. What were you doing there? There last night. Mm -hmm. Up north. Why were you there? I want to screw around there, pal. pal. I was required to investigate a campsite. I can't fire smoke. Oh Lord, have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Five cats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal. And there are stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not mention you'll be quite a distance from health if anything ever happened. They're enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely. It's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit been on a bit on edge. Everything alright? Mention the skull. Oh Lord have mercy. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? Didn't think about it. You know it. Uh anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep just keep watching. Thanks for supplies. Again, why the fuck do you not have a gun? <laughs> what? I was chuckling. Only seven knots. And this is probably that's probably not sunny or whatever. It's really sunny outside, Seven? don't you know? Oh my god. Or clear, as it says. What? 27? Hikers assisted. One. Pretty sure they're dead. You assisted things that are deaf. 56.2. Book says also, why did the other ranger not announce himself? Like, gods, man, do you know how dark it is? Well, apparently he's not used to, uh, working with giant pansies like Bright. Yeah. 
Can you please have another fucking quote-unquote joke? Arrows wrong. Missed? No. Wend? No. Oh, wait, yes. Oh, great. She was talking about knots. Okay. But anyways, just in case anything happens, uh, I'm gonna leave it like this, because I have to go to the bathroom. And I'll put on intermittent. I can confidently say that... I, I can confidently That'd say, be having been the one... Oh, go ahead. Look, I can confidently say, being the one who wrote the butt buddy contract that her only joke is not anywhere in the butt buddy contract as something she needs to do she's just lazy Okay, if it's a different contract, then what is the different contract, right? Hmm? I'm book. <laughs> Wait, secretly wrote a contract with Gooch for Big Box. Yeah, that sounds wholly real. I'm going to take my headset off for a minute.
Why are you guys spamming emojis in the chat? Back. I was just wondering why. This Poor why Jack. Everything, all the emojis were being spammed. <laughs> it's oh. chat. Just cause. My phone's dead, so I won't be able to see messages for a little bit. So if there's like any important messages, uh, I would need someone to relay them to me. Oh, it's Ace Week? Sweet. A week to celebrate myself. Something fell off my desk. Alright, I got it. Okay. So we don't go to bed yet. I was still on where to go to bed without food. He <laughs> eats the same food from last night. <laughs> 420. We were still heated up, heating up. I like eating in bed. I was done with it. Good enough. I was getting cold. I found this. Oh, no. Wait, where's my flashlight? Taking this with me. Why is it there? I have bear maze. Not afraid to use it. Right, jump the fuck. You would be wasting it, right? I think it's infinite. To be fair. Yes, if this was real life, though, you would be wasting it. Also, I have no idea how many knights there are in this game. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> Just gave me a Jesus. heart attack. I understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. What's your name? Names can be deceiving, call me Silius. Who are you? No need to be alarmed, I'm a right, worker. Right, wait, right, right, what? right, then his, their name is Silas. Silas, whatever, whatever. I'm a worker, I was just doing the usual maintenance on the radio tower over there. Thought I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. Do you usually work this late? I 
damn it. Why, what do you have that you keep making fall? A dead charging phone. <laughs> Anyways. Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. You must ensure that the right message reached the right place. Wouldn't you agree? Right, relying on information about fire sightings. So, but some fires are meant to burn, and no amount of, of preventing can stop them. You know? Oh. Uh, thank you for following Kendra801. Nature has his own plan. Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing, a way for the land to purify itself. I should head back to the tower now. Have a good night, Jack. I hope you slept well, but remember, curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. Also, that guy took a, a bear mace to the face. The guy gave, gave out the creepiest vibes. Was it just one person that followed? Yeah. I'm right, so. Okay. I'm not sure if they said anything at all, did they? It doesn't look like it. Okay. I really hate not being able to have my fucking... Damn it! 120. Hooray! I hate myself. I didn't mean to do that. There's smoke coming out of your tower. Shit, yes. Don't tell me you're not in there. New guy, you there? Don't do that. You copy now. Loud and clear. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Uh, ran into, uh, ran that into person. Who? Gotta maintain that nearby radio tower. It's just about yesterday. What do you mean? Trying to yank my chain now. What do you mean? The radio tower's been out of service for ages now. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems. And its repair cost was deemed too costly. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Then who did I just talk to? Look. He knew my name. Knew your name? You think he's been listening? I'm not Either sure. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. I got this. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Good night, Colonel. Tower 12, signing off. Over. Right, over and out. And didn't even give them a chance to say anything. So I'm, I'm not much of a butthole. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed to get needed to get used to. Strangeness I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later. 9.18 p.m. You guy, you got a minute? I'm listening. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. Uh, how do we have 
the well, computer. to be honest with you, all this new technology is not really my thing. Dare I say it, these computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Anyway, uh, for now, use the console to run the new system update. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. Thanks, I got it. H K U P P. Three updates found in Tolan Uh, one update several. Security patch. It's very unknown. Okay, blah, blah. No, it is two, three. Can I not recognize? Oh. Did I? It's because I didn't capitalize everything. Oh, that's why. What? Package version. Oh, two point one point one. I'm scrolling Twitter, and I see some footage from, from Spain, where, uh, a apparently, the fire departments and firemen have been on strike in a particular city or region mm -hmm. for four yeah. months thanks to poor working conditions, and the footage is of riot police. <laughs> Getting the shit beat out of them by a bunch of firefighters. <laughs> oh my god. That's fucking awesome. Please enter an active line. Which would be if I remember my courses. Okay, can you send me the footage? Or the um, link to that? I wanna see. Nope, that didn't work. Or at the very least, the cops are having troubles dealing with said firefighters. It's just so many firefighters. Uh, there we go. System is now up to date. That was pleasant. I sent it. My power's off. I don't trust this. Oh, there's a storm out there. Oh, Wait, I off. just noticed something. Are the, are the firefighters using flamethrowers? Can't sleep. It looks like it, it looks like some of them are using like hairspray cans to make miniature flamethrowers. Oh my <laughs> god! Because they're all wearing fire suits. <laughs> No, why the fuck not? And I got absolutely nothing to defend myself. That's great. Oh no, book is burning the chat. Oh down. god. Oh god, that's just fucking hilarious. Wait, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is fucking hilarious. <laughs> And ran ran out of gas. Oh, one of them is holding up a flare. That's yeah, annoying. saw that. Please don't be in here. Please don't be in here. Please don't be in here. Oh, I'm not like. 
taking this. I'm on edge now. I have a gas can. I'm not afraid to go. I really had to pee for going back up. Oh my gosh, why? I have a gas can. I'm not afraid to go. <laughs> Good thing I can't be picked up. I'm not even peeing in there. I'm peeing on it. I love the fact that the flashlight, like, you're not actually holding the flashlight. It's just fucking, like, rotating like a security camera. Also, the door is see-through on the other side. That's, that's normal, I guess. Why that didn't you close was, your... Uh, huh? Why didn't you close your shitter? That was closed. You didn't close the shitter. What happened? One week God. later. Okay. You I died one by. week later. <laughs> yeah. Car generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past few days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I had to do was check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked, unless I was talking to myself. 2.34 a.m. We got another one. I know it's late, but you're going to want to see this one, Jack. Jack? Jack, I need you to wake up. You copy? Right here, Connor. Okay, tell you what, I don't have the energy to do this right now. What happened? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Let me have a look. Damn dirty campers. Coming in and camping. I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. If they don't run away this time, take their photos and IDs. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Update me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. Oh, I was crouched for some reason. Oh, their lights went out. Oh, I see. It's right over there. Stairs. That doesn't look. That just looks like a spotlight. Is that a light off of your thing or? Oh, I can't even go down to stop them right now. Oh, I don't think I want to stop them. I don't know what to make of it. Only thing that made sense at the time was to take evidence of it. Take a photo! <gasps> uh, I need to go up. Why are you staring? Why didn't you turn out your lights? Found you. Why the fuck wouldn't they look under the bed? 
That's literally the most stereotypical place to hide. And the only place to hide here. Yeah, it's not like it's not like Bright's a contortionist and could be hiding in the fridge. I think I heard a voice. Look. That's a, it's something like K over here or something. I have to leave. If Chu's still here, because I, I think I can go back to looking. Wait, what? Chu, if you're still here, um. Uh, it will I die if I get up? Okay, at this point, you probably should get up. Round two's response. Right? At this point, you should get up. Okay, you have know. literally nothing else to do. I'm not feel like I had to make a run. Huh? The light is lit. Just turn off the flashlight. Right. Turn off the light. I did. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, and cuss now. Welcome says OMG not dead. OMG how fucking idiot. This is literally the stupidest cultist on the planet. I have no idea how far enough for me to run. Right? I think so. Well, I'm hearing a certain music. Hey, Brian can see me. Yeah, I can see you now. Well, it's... So... Okay. Hey, Brian. Yes? Based on the music musical cue, mm -hmm. I think you're fine. Okay? Okay. I think you'll be fine to go. Three, two, one. So no, it's probably a good idea. Yes. That you, that you didn't. It's probably a good thing that you didn't turn on your light. Shenanigans, yep. It was locked. Oh. Guessing get in my car. Get the fuck out of here. As adrenaline kicked in. I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little sort of crazy out, out here, Mitch answered. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area. But of course, they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just... Did it? Wait, 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 wait. 
but I didn't even see your picture. Nope. Just stick to looking out for fire, Smitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set, f set foot in those woods. The Ani still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, it, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I, I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Wait, okay, wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. So, you're not gonna tell them the... One, they're, you're not gonna tell them to, the woods to be careful in. So they're not gonna... No. Yeah, no, that's, that's not a... That's a bad... That's... Yeah, no, this is definitely not an actual, a true story. Because you would tell them what woods it is to make sure people know to say safe from that place. Fair. Don't you know? Just the woods. It's the, the woods. You know the woods that we all know very well. The woods. It's one national park that I will not name. Zoe the cat? And Jackson? Okay. <laughs> I don't know who Zoe the cat is. That was a good horror game. That is going to be it for tonight. I think they did the cat animation. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Let me see if there's anyone I want to raid. No. <laughs> so, book one, last words, go. What I'm about to say. Mm -hmm. what? Were you about to say something else, Hedget? Yeah, I, I, I said guess what I'm about to say. What? I need to get off Twitter. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Apparently, the person who just followed me sent me DM messages on, uh, which oh what did they say hello how are you doing just randomly sending you dms yes that's really odd you're being a sussy baka Oh, yep, here comes the Andy and Lele not safe for work content. Catch it. Like, comment, subscribe, and follow Bright for more scary times in the woods. Remember, don't go into the woods ever. Any woods. Also, I mean, I'm not complaining. 
Chuck, do you need voice. help? Who's Chucky? Uh, Chuck the Doll from the, I forgot the name of their horror movie franchise. Oh, I didn't see that. What right with the right? Yeah, what but apparently, uh, it sounded like he had a robotic voice and was drowning. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing that was only fifty cents. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty good for your money, you know, but Book just paid 50 cents to drown an evil baby. <laughs> Book was redeeming catch and get off Twitter. Evil baby doll. Just because she said that, I'm going to open Twitter back up. Bookworm. There's a lot of not safe for work stuff. I redeemed the wrong thing, lol. Oh. It's almost like this redeem is meant to do the opposite of what it says. Anyways, um... I don't think Chu's still here, because I haven't said anything in a long while. No. Uh, during our last words, go. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, Follow, uh, follow, subscribe, right? It's a cat bird. Oh, fuck's sake. Alright, uh, hatchet, uh, last words go. And remember, kids, outside of the days, I do cry. Inside of your eyes, I will die. But inside of the fear, I don't know here. Outside of the eyes, that's it. Alright, I guess my final words, um... Oh, just no reaction at all, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how to react. <laughs> Actually tried to do rhyming stuff. Yeah, I think we're pretty good. Huh. Huh. <laughs> You're upset. <laughs> you sound like a baby alligator. <laughs> Anyways, um... I hope you Danger Noodles enjoyed. I hope to see you guys next time for your next mission. And, uh, uh, only gay people can have cats. <laughs>